And I guess we are live. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> oh, my God. Please let us know right off the bat, whoever's in here right now, if the audio is good, the video is good. Does this all look to that? I got to say, before we even get into anything, I have to thank this man in front of me, Joe Barreto. He sat with me two hours the other day to figure out StreamYard that all your favorite you know, streamers have, like Stan and, and Spencer. Look at StreamYard. I, you know, I don't know what the kids are doing, like Joe, you know, Joe the kid, oh, <laughs> he's teaching me StreamYard. So let me know if this is working. This is my first time using this stuff. Um, don't let the grades uh, fool you. <laughs> <I'm 25. laughs> he's, he's quick. He's quick with it. So, yeah, he sat with me. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, it looks so weird because I'm not on my phone. I'm just looking at like a, a screen. <laughs> It's weird. You save your eyesight. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I don't have to be real close to it. Um, okay. So what is going on, everybody? We got Michael Wong, Cesar, John, Matt Clawson, Gimme, Woodsy, Juan, Sean Credit, Vinyl. We got a bunch of people in here. Lonnie, what's going on? Yo, is, we got an all-star squad here. Oh, look at that. Look at this. You can pull it up. Oh, man. Look at this. We're, we're high tech now. Michael Wong said Tesla being repaired. No, sir. No. <laughs> Let, let's just say I didn't want to have as many, like too many variables. All right. I'm, I'm on the iPad now. Like, and I had to figure this out. I didn't want to do too many random things. Right, Joe? <laughs> no, no. We do. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep it simple. Look at this. I had to, I had to rent a whole house, you know, just for this event. I had to rent an apartment, like just for the day. On Airbnb for you know a thousand dollars just to be here, and you know what, it's worth it. It's worth the fee. He's running the electrical wire through the window to the other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All habits are hard to break. That's yep. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. What's oh god? I'm not used to. I'm not used to like having to bring things up. Oh, hold up. Hold up. I have to. Oh god, I got Anthony's poor car. Matt calls it. We're fine. The car is fine. Knock on wood. We're good. We're just assuming it got destroyed by neighbor Karen. Oh my God! It's oh my oh whoa whoa whoa! What's happening here? What's going on? Stream, <laughs> stream John. John, hola, te amo, Papa. Let's Hi, get this Papa, pretty started. I love you. I love you. Whoo! Wow! Thank you, John, for the super chat. I'm glad I could pull it up on the screen now. How cool is that, right? This is crazy. This is so crazy. I, but but Cesar told me once it was like it's a little distracted. I'm like trying to figure. Oh man, I'm a little distracted. <laughs> okay, sorry. It, it gets when it gets crazy in the chat. Then you, this is what you end up doing. Your face is like this. <laughs> it's like one eye. I'm like, Damn, I didn't do my eyebrows. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm looking at myself. Usually the phone. I'm like, this looks weird. No, your well, hair is fly, but your uh, hair is always fly. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Well, that's how you you get you get more honey. It's what being fly. That's right? what it that's is. A, that's, yeah, that's what, what it is. <laughs> Uh, but Joe, before I even say it, Joe, thank you for being here, man. We're doing a nice Q&A, nice hangout today. Anthony, well. you are the man. I tell you, I, I love you. You know that. And uh, meeting your wife this week, too, was just amazing. So um, God bless you guys. It was, this is, I've been looking forward to this. This is an honor and a pleasure. Anthony, I don't know where you went, but now it's just me. He's really learning this. <laughs> oh no! No! Wait, one second. The hot spot. <laughs> it's all right, guys out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> you you're gonna laugh. I was, I'm on the hot spot on my phone, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I thought it'd be a good idea. Let me put airplane mode on. <laughs> Stupid. Yo, you can't make this up, bro. Oh, my God. I'm having to. This is too ridiculous. So, okay, yes. Thank you, Joe. Final cover. Oh, my God. With a 10 spot right off the bat as well. I appreciate you guys bearing with me in the technical difficulties. Jesus Christ. Final cover. You, you were in here last time. You're in here today. You thought I was married to Jazzy Venture. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but Anthony and Joe, are there any data points that it's to suggest you can get out of pop-up jail? For example, by accepting a green card without a sub, and it would make you valid for a gold or platinum with a sub. Joe, any <laughs> any thoughts? Nope, nope. They wouldn't even sniff me after thirty-five years for anything. Nothing, nada. So I called again. Actually, 
two days ago to ask about the product changing from the Hilton to the Aspire, the, you know, because I got blocked there too. And they were like, no, no, but you could just product change. I said, yeah, but I, I want these points. Mm. I wanted to apply. Nope. So, and putting spend on a card, that's all crap. They're just crapping down on people and it, you can't, they be, it's like Capital One when you can't figure out what the hell they're doing, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I, I almost attribute it a little bit to uh, like those Capital One raise your credit limit videos that a lot of people have done, I've done in the past. It's like you're trying to give a solution to a solutionless problem. <laughs> like there's a lot of things that, you know, could work, you know, may, but it really, there's no definitive data points. The only thing I've, I've maybe heard were just the mail in offers. You know, and people get like a business platinum, you know, something like that. And that sometimes got them through at a, at a pop up jail. That, and then just also, there have been some, what we call in the Discord, uh, the, the, uh, the Rock of Gibraltars, which is the, the links that get you out of pop up jail. So I think Michael Wong or Vinny Boombots, they found like a, 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 a pop up list surpass link and it worked. Someone, someone oh, okay. was in pop up jail, they used the link. So that's the only thing I've ever seen, but still, those links are. Few and far between, and I never get mail for for Hemix, So no, and actually, yeah. I was supposed to get a call yesterday at six o'clock because the woman said she would call me. I spoke to her Thursday; she never called me. So I really, was like, all right, yeah, I was surprised. So hmm. I just think they're not really going to be offering a lot in terms of these. You know, off they just want people to do shit in order and do it their way, and that's it. Yeah, you know? it seems like it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was actually I was talking to Constantinos on that stream too, and he was talking about how like the watch industry is like the first to fall, but the first to go up. So he's starting to see watch industry kind of going up a little bit in prices. And he says something with that related to interest rates and just exactly why he foresees more banks are going to be trying to acquire more customers going forward, and how that, like maybe that'll raise some some welcome offers. Who really knows? You know, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, vinyl cover. I wish I had like a magic wand or some fairy dust, but I don't know. Oh God, yeah, that, yeah. I would say join the venture tab of Discord if you haven't already. Maybe you could find a pop up list link, pop up JLS link. Yeah, they um, actually offered me the green card without a sub on a on a to downgrade. Mm -hmm. I said no. <laughs> what? what the hell am I gonna do with that? Yeah, waste. Um. I just wanted to see uh, MR. You're right. You are right. What's going on, MR? I thought you lived in your car, LOL. I mean, yeah, you thought right. I do. I just, like I said, I rented this just for a day. Um, <laughs> what's going on, Bianca? Coming in hot. Mr. Pride. What's going on? Which is Brian? What's going on? Ah, hi. How you doing? <laughs> I love the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get. I'm trying to sense the energy. Yeah, I didn't do this. I, I didn't do this eyebrow right though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's looking scuffed. <laughs> oh god, Dalton. Oh, what's going on, Dalton? Uh, I know he's uh, he got started in the game not too long ago. Just found Joe's channel a few weeks ago. It's great seeing you have him on the live. So thank Dalton. You. Dalton, cool man. Good looking out. Hello, hello. Oh my god, what happens? What happened? Well, all of a sudden it just jumped me. It was like, Anthony, you're too late. You need to be, <laughs> you need to be moving along. Keith <laughs> with the <a> two spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, we're gonna Keith, have to get our Amex. I love you. I, I love you, Keith. <laughs> I, I have this image of you in my head of what you look like. I can't wait to meet you because I swear to God, it's just you're the man. That's it. That's, That's fine. It. I'm surprised you still have that Google profile picture. You got to change it to the build card, right? He's going crazy <laughs> with the build card. <laughs> it's like my friends on Facebook that still have the white face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I know. Or like a, like an old Twitter where it was just an egg profile picture. They would like with the egg hat. Yeah, <laughs> they, would, they would destroy you <laughs> in the comments. Like, why is this egg talking crap to me? Uh, <laughs> Let's go, James Chafin. All board the hot mess American Express, baby. Let's go. <laughs> this, this is it. This is it. Oh, uh, John, don't tell me you were streaming from a hotspot, Anthony. Uh, well, it's my hotspot. It's the phone. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, okay. I need to be quicker. Uh, Petawatt. 
and we'll get into actual questions in a second that we got from the community post in Discord. But but uh, Penawat said, "What's the best sign up bonus card for Amex Business right now, in your opinion?" I saw one for two fifty. Yes, mm-hmm. business platinum two fifty. But business platinum. Michael Wong, I think he got sent that an email or something or, or mail or forget. Isn't that crazy? I don't think I've ever seen higher than two fifty on a business plan. But it, it's it's still so hard for me to hit that spend. That's the problem with me. Amex mm. offered me to go from the gold pl- from the gold business instead of fifteen thousand, ten thousand spend in three months, but they're only offering me one hundred and twenty thousand points, which isn't bad. Hmm. Then what the hell am I going to do with that card? Another seven hundred dollar card for what? What am I going to do with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're really strapped for points and you have a tax no, payment or something, <laughs> I'm not doing it. What is it? Fifteen k? Fifteen k in three months. That's Damn. rough. Damn. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't switch that for sure. No, that's what the ink preferred was. Remember? And then they cut it to eight. Yeah, that's right. I eight jumped on the eight as soon as it came out. I was like, nope. Got this one. Yeah, I think that's going to be my next card, actually. I think I'm going to get, get the ink preferred. Yeah. The best ink card is the preferred. You think so? So much so that I, I could clip the Sapphire preferred because to me, I use the ink preferred more than the regular Sapphire preferred. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense for sure. And you can still use it into the portal. Same thing. Interesting. So. Yeah. Plus, the you know, consult your CPAs, but can write off that annual fee of ninety five. So it's inherently cheaper than the regular CSP. So I asked my accountant, yeah, <laughs> about credit cards that we get hmm. for our channel, and if that could be written off. Oh, and yes, you can. The annual fee, yeah. Yes. Huh. So even a personal, it's... because we're doing reviews, we're going out, using it, posting about it commenting that's a business expense definitely definitely that's why it's like it's weird to be in this space and like 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 a year ago we weren't really doing anything but now we're like monetizing stuff on youtube so that means like every trip that you film theoretically could be written off it's like these are all business trips because they're all for the youtube channel so it's it's interesting it's like a weird world to be in now (laughs) Like no, I'm gonna go to my life. friend's house who has a nice bathroom and say it's an FHR hotel. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that golden FHR toilet. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you film it, man, you can write it. It's gonna be weird going in his house with a <laughs> with my Sony. <laughs> <laughs> just stream from there. Yeah, just stream live stream from the toilet. Monetize everything, you know. <laughs> Um, Matt Clawson, my girlfriend got a surprise mailer in the mail uh, to his house. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear you. That. I'm not I doing that. You. They offered that too. I'm not doing it. I don't know if we're going to get any more free night certificates on these on these Hilton cards. I'm really I'm hoping. So. You don't think so? Matt, check your girlfriend's mailer because they put a QR code on the one they made me for the surpass, and it didn't take me to the surpass. It jumped uh, me to the Aspire. And sorry. Amex said it was a glitch. And they had to fix it. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if you actually went through with it. They send you a surpass. <laughs> and the five hundred dollar fifty five fifty coming down to bite you. It was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Vinny Bobot's talking about the Aspire. Uh, well, he yeah, he had the pop up jail list Rock of Gibraltar link, and he got okay. the Aspire when he was in pop up jail. So that was pretty cool. Michael Pythium, my man Mike, what's going on? He's been around for a while. Do you think uh, the Five Nights on the Marriott business card is worth pumping 8K through versus multiple subs? Because mm. I just saw that. I just made a community post about the, the Marriott business card. I was like, oh, Five Nights, 8K is spent. So I threw it up there and he was thinking about it. But yeah, it is in six months, though, which helps. Oh, they're giving you six? But, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. because I had to do on my Marriott business. 5k in three months hmm. for 125,000 points last year and i hmm. did it you know it's okay if you yeah. can do it and you have nothing else to meet then yeah but yeah. if you got other subs good luck yeah i don't know i don't know because i just think like personally like what well, i don't know everyone else's situation but for me if i'm going to put 8k through do i want 100k on an ink preferred for the 8k spend 100. 
or the five nights on a Marriott business. I, I really don't know. I think if this was 2025 when I'm starting to like head into Marriott's, I might just do the, the Marriott business. But for now, I'm trying to just like go crazy with Hyatt's. So I would, I would go with an ink preferred or I don't know if there's two other, like two cards for the, for their welcome marks. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Michael Wong. Yeah. He did say that he had, yeah, he had the surpass special link. Uh, Nifty Ninja, what's going on, man? The man with the golden voice. And uh, <laughs> Fairy Dust is in <laughs> short supply. A <laughs> little bit of spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So let's get. Oh, oh, God. All right. Wait a second. Oh, my God. Yeah, it just happens. Like I look down for a second, and then all of a sudden it, it, it jumps me ahead. Like I'm. Like it's telling me I'm doing the wrong thing. Let's. Uh, Oh, Keith is too lazy to change the, the, the profile picture. Okay. It's okay, Keith. We still love you. Um, now I see how some people miss the, the, the chats. Wow. Okay. Super chat. Uh, uh, final. Again. What's going on? What's, <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. IMX pop up jail or Capital One Venture X's application mood swings. Oh, no. If we weren't live, <laughs> I'd throw up that finger. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Venture X, Jesus Christ! Did it? Did it give you a run for your money, Venture X? Did they never. You, I can. I can't even can't, get. Right? I, I can't apply. Oh, that's right. They send you like secured cards, right? Yes, platinum, <laughs> platinum secured. Like I'm twelve years old. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, yeah. Oh God. No, it's horrible. And then Matt gave me the link to do the pre-approval for Venture X, and then it's like. We know this isn't the response you wanted to see. But I'm like, great, thanks. <laughs> There's nothing we can do for you. See, I'm glad I never even tried to get the Venture X. I never even I cared for it really. It is, everyone says I should care for it for my name, but nobody, you know. You don't have any any <laughs> Capital One cards? Yeah, I have two. I have a Capital One secured, and then uh, I have a Quicksilver too. My first couple cards, actually, first few. Okay, okay, but that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know what? I think I found some data points that I don't think I've ever heard really people say before, which was um, on this topic. Uh, but thank you again, Vinyl. I appreciate you. But I, it was the fact that uh, I think Keith is, was upset that he couldn't get any Saver 1. Uh, he wanted to get a Saver 1. He was like, all they're offering me is Capital One Secured. But upon some you know time, I realized my brother-in-law, he just got a Capital One uh, Platinum card. At the time, I thought it was secured, and then I asked him the other day. I was like, "Did you get your?" Because he he was able to product change his Capital One Platinum card to the Saver One. They gave it to him instantly, like within a month of having. This is his first credit card. Within a month, he has a Saver One now and a Quicksilver. Crazy, and I never really heard that before, like a way to bypass it. What I realized was, he didn't put down a deposit. It wasn't a secured card. I thought he did, but he didn't. And so it was just a Platinum card, which allowed him, since it is a Mastercard, his his was a Mastercard. And allow them to product change the saver one. So I think a way, if people really want the saver and there's no other way for like their upgrade options, obviously apply if you know whatever. But you could also maybe with brute force get the platinum card non-secured. If it's Mastercard, you you might be able to go right up to the saver. I thought that was really interesting. The only so problem is is that their interest rate on those lower end versions of their cards are thirty point seven four percent. Yeah, and then they don't give you any bonus, nothing zero you just get that interest rate and that's it so mm -hmm. that's why i don't think when i showed the woman from wells fargo keith uh of capital one keith's uh um message to me she was laughing she was like what I, was like, <laughs> I said you guys have no idea what you're missing on this guy so jeez um and actually michael wong had a question would you drop the csp if you got the chasing business preferred yeah yeah that was actually the plan um it just makes too much sense like all the different multipliers that you get on it that you're using it for general actually um and then the fact that you still have the transfer partners out to well hyatt is for what i'm using it for at the moment until i go for to you know until i stay in every hyatt i want to stay in in the next couple of years and you can write off the annual fee so i'm like it's a no-brainer you know for me and it won't take them 524 and you get an extra hundred thousand points like would you product change to the reserve nah <laughs> no right. Nah. Reserve is all right. I I don't know. I I like <laughs> I like I like the flexibility that it has from what I've uh, you know researched and stuff and 
for, for the travel credit and whatnot, but really I do agree with, with Luke in that video where it's like, how are you going to, well, one, how does it get away from being called a coupon book? I like the idea that Luke kind of mentioned that. And then also how do you recoup that extra 250 if you're not using, you know, DoorDash or Lyft and stuff like that? It doesn't really, I don't know. You might be able to say the same with the Platinum, but I don't get all the other extra things with the reserve, you know. This is what the Delta preferred gives day. you. The preferred <laughs> gives you three points per dollar on travel, shipping purchases, internet, cable, and phone services, advertising mm. services, social media sites. Mm. You know, it's it's just a, it's a great for especially for all the stuff that we buy and we purchase to do these things. Yeah. You know, all these subscriptions for Canva and what that all multiplies. Hmm. Interesting. The only yeah. thing you won't get is a streaming service, but big deal. There's other cards that give you that. So who cares? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Hmm. That's why this is my month. This is the one that I use and I beat the heck out of this card. It, it really is. You get a lot of points from it. Hmm. Yeah. Seems like that in the cat in the in cash too. I think Luke really likes that too from watching his thing. He's like five X. Cash is amazing. <laughs> yeah, the unlimited is, you know, it is what it is. But mm -hmm. that's great. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Ninja also agreeing. Amex pop up jail is worse because it's a tease. It really is. <laughs> it really is a tease. <laughs> I do like the fact that you can just like go through the application, you know, get to third base, and then you know, <laughs> if, it, if the window pops up. And you're like, all right, we don't have to go any further. <laughs> yeah, but wait. And you leave. <laughs> yeah, I have so many bad things. So. Yep. But, but you know what I didn't like mm. was when they told me that it counts as almost as an application and it resets the clock. Well, true. So like, you I'm learned checking that. it like an idiot. I was checking it every day. Like if, you know, the Amex gods were going to favor me one day and give me, you know, this bonus and they never did. <laughs> Only to find out that it shows up as an like if you were trying to apply with them, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they hit the, the scores, but nonetheless, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. That was really interesting that you found that out. That that reset. It's because it's like, it, but it, but still, it's like I still you still you see people that bypass it, and then some people that that abide by it. It's like we, we there's so many <laughs> conflicting things in this game. It's pretty wild. Um, this is interesting, Juan. Uh, meow mix, oh, man. Where's he at in that picture? Where's Juan at? Is that? <laughs> what, what, is, am, am I gonna look like an idiot? It's not. It's not Big Ben, right? Is it? Is no, I was wondering. I look. For, <laughs> I'm, I'm blind, so at first I thought it was Washington. You know, the Washington Monument, but then like, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> Imagine almost like that's the Eiffel Tower. Like that looks good. <laughs> uh, is it possible to request a mailer for the surpass? If so, would I request from Amex or Hilton or both? I don't think you can request a mailer. I think they said it, right? What I would have, I don't think you could request it, but it's weird. You know how they track everything you do? Every yeah. time I go onto the Marriott, let's say website, the hotel, I'm not through the app, but through the actual website or Hilton. I'll get mm -hmm. stuff emailed or mailed because hmm. they, they want you to get one of their products. So I wonder if that would help trigger that they, you have an interest hmm. and they might <laughs> mail you something, but I wouldn't do it through Amex because it's not going to matter. Yeah. Interesting. That was also partly the reason why I signed up for that Amex business checking because I heard maybe it can aid in them sending you some business cards and whatnot. It hasn't happened yet, but I was when I signed it. up for it and I got yeah. it, they that's when i started getting the offers to um upgrade to the platinum and they've oh. changed yeah and they've changed the values at one point it was a hundred thousand points then they made it 120. i'm wondering now that the high is 250 if they come in at 150 i might jump on it if they give me ten thousand dollars in three months for 150 I yeah might pull the trigger okay because i already got my hit on the card for my car yesterday so <laughs> my phone was like ding everybody life lock nor in this that was like you know you got to you know credit review credit and i was like all right jeez <laughs> so, that's done gotcha um mr he said i was in the same boat with capital one i canceled all of them and never looked back oh no <laughs> 
Joe, let me ask you, where'd you, where'd you get this whole wet bot thing? Where so wet bot is literally, <laughs> I swear to God, it has to be, Puerto Ricans basically use that term. It's like a celebration. It's like congratulations. It's a, like an over the top, wepa. So when it, if I'm online, it'll be W-E-P-A all the way to the end. And then they, actually, they have shirts with the people with the hat to the back that says wepa. You know, before you were born, there was a guy called a wepa man that when you would go to dance, his hook in the song was wepa, like that. <laughs> wepa, like that. Yep. Really? I swear to God. When uh, I went to see Puerto Rico play the Dominican Republic last month in uh, Florida, Wepa was all over the place. Huh. You know, or if, the, or if the girl's beautiful and she walks by, you go, Wepa. <laughs> so, that's, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 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 It's funny how all these languages have their own one of those, like maybe like, let's go. Yeah. You know, like that. Let's go. I think in, in Chinese, it's Ganbei. It's like, Ganbei. And then they, you know, take some shots. <laughs> I'm sure that same guy back 2,000 years ago did the one word and everybody just took it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, that's funny. Keith again. Oh, the built man. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> he Keith. did it. He did it. Oh, look at that peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that looks nice, though. Damn. I'm going to have to get used to that. Oh. Keith, we were talking off before we went on about built because... Mm. I was thinking about going to get the autograph journey, but the bank near me couldn't sign up for them today, right? So I was asking Anthony about the bill to pay my homeowners association in Florida. And I might consider that because, you know, they, they're charging me a fee no matter what I do it, even out of my, my um, debit card. I might as well put it on their card and let them pay for it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had to double check, so I looked on on that built Reddit and said so. So interesting. No, that works. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, freaking Keith. Actually, I appreciate Keith uh, also because he used my uh, referral for the build. Although, I, I, for those of you who got referrals on build, how long does it take? I've never gotten one before. I still don't have it. It's like a few weeks for, a few weeks ago, I think now. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm wondering. Uh, we'll see. Um, well, so I appreciate you, John Keith and Vinyl, the Super Chats fan. One Bridge Eleven. Why do we get the feeling that Joe is a big fan of the Sopranos? Oh, what makes you think that? This guy, he's got more gold than a goddamn, you know, Flavor Flav's mouth, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me just bring out, <laughs> let me bring out all my gold. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh hold on. my God. Look, at, he's gonna start signaling ships like a lighthouse. That's right? it. That's <laughs> it. And wait, wait till my. Uh, well, I didn't. You know, news flash, breaking news. Hmm. I'm going to come out in the New York Times, International New York Times for That's watches, right. for uh, my watch collection. That's and right. I'm thinking about another week or two. They're sending hmm. me a photographer, so I'll make sure I use my gold. <laughs> but I look crazy Italian, but I'm a super Puerto Rican, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, this shit uh, grew in at 19. I had grays. Really? Yeah. Uh, huh. I've been coloring my hair. I just fermented until like three years ago, and then I was done. Oh, wow. Because huh. I work with high school kids. When you work with high school kids, my girls in school go, Mr., you got to do you know, your eyebrows. You got to color your hair. And I started doing that crap. And then it just got too cumbersome. And I was like, screw it. So I must say, your skin, very, very clear, very uh, smooth. Like the forehead, I think I have more lines than you, man. What the hell? But. <laughs> I freaking love you. <laughs> very, you must use some CeraVe. I do. I do. <laughs> Yo, I have more crap in my cabinet than my wife does. I put wow. this stuff under the eyes. I'm a total chick. It's over for me. There's no saving me. So you do recommend it because she keeps telling me I need a skincare routine. So there's called, is it Magnifique or something from Clinique? They have one. And then L'Oreal has another one. And I just put it every night. It lightens it up. I look like hmm. a raccoon six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Maybe I gotta start jumping on it. Jumping on Yo, the. Uh... You know what? Before we move on, that that I, I liked his little avatar there, but mm. I'm gonna make a shameless plug, guys. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> I asked Anthony for this. I need 44 people to. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> I need 44 subs. <laughs> 
<laughs> to get to 3,000. So tell your tias, tios, uncle, goombas, everybody out there to just go. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Here, we can, we can at least do this. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm coming I'm on my own street. 2,000 for too long. There's a, uh, just threw it in the, threw it in the chat. Wait, let me, let me, let me find this. Go subscribe <laughs> to Miente. <laughs> he needs 44 people to get to 3,000. <laughs> to, to, to break that, break that 2,000 streak there. I got to get there. <laughs> Too oh. cute. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think you'll, I think we'll hit it today. I think I love that picture of you. I swear to God, who took that of you? That picture of me? Oh, thank you, man. You're really nice. Um, it's uh, <laughs> that was actually when I was becoming a real estate agent. They said I needed to do some professional photography. So I was like, all right, here we go. I was just taking my iPhone, you know, with a with a canvas behind me. But I said, all right, let me pay three hundred dollars. I got a professional person, and they took us somewhere. And I, you know, I threw my suit on. I have a million pictures from that. I got some Calvin Klein looking ones, but that ended up being the one I was like, hey, it looks official. Let's make no, it, it the, does. <laughs> the picture for the channel. That's a hot pick. I like that. You should have seen my first profile picture on YouTube. It was uh, me in like a red dress shirt. It was uh, on a boat, and I'm just like I'm just I'm just sitting like this on a boat. It was it was actually it was a dinner cruise that I got for her on Easter, um, in Philadelphia, nonetheless, uh, all the way out there, right on the I forgot was it Universal Boulevard? I forget. It was kind of in a weird area. It was a little scary looking people out there, but. I was yeah, just ask if it was a bulletproof <laughs> boat, but none of that. <laughs> we were we were far enough out there. It's really, <laughs> yeah, their guns wouldn't be able to shoot us that far. But it was it was a good dinner cruise though, Easter cruise. Um, I think it was called. I think it was Spirit, if I remember correctly, not the plane. Um, just, so thank you, Keith. Um, Joey, hey Joey, we've got a nice Italian hey, in Joey, here. Joey how <laughs> I have one cab and one card. I doubt they will product change its adventure X, but if I could, do you all think it would be worth it with no uh, soap? Which uh, card do you have now? Hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. If he's got nothing, he's got no. Because the saver cards. one, from what everybody says, has a lot of good multipliers, right? And, and you get good returns on it. But if you have the Quicksilver, I don't know. Hmm. Right? I mean, I don't... Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Um, I don't know if yeah. it's... Uh... It's like, I, I just think of it like, oh, if you're flying once a year and that's all, that's your only vacation that you're ever going to take, eh, why not? You'll cover yourself and you get some lounge access and whatnot. Like, if you're doing Maybe anything more than yeah, one. You know what? And if that's the only premium card, I would say yes. Yeah. But if you already have another one, I wouldn't spend another four hundred just to get another lounge or one, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's why, I, yeah. That's why it's like platinum for me is just that's it. It does everything it needed to, and it's fun. It's a fun card <laughs> to have. <laughs> CSR and Medrex seem more like chores a little bit. Um, like Wong, Andy, be a baller and stay at the Park High in DC. Twenty three K per night. <laughs> that's right. Twenty three thousand points and four thousand dollars for seventeen. <laughs> If you, I wish I could pull it up with this friggin' I'm not on desktop, it doesn't let me. But uh, Michael Wong found a, a random night for the park height in DC. It says it's four thousand dollars cash a night or twenty three k points. So seventeen cents per point, man. That's good value, right? Well, you should be taking it. <laughs> it's funny. I, I don't know why it's doing that. I wonder if like the president's coming to town or something like that. But friggin', that's that's normally a couple, you know, a few hundred dollars, something like that. I actually was gonna stay there. For my DC trip, but from what I hear, it's not as good as the Thompson. So we'll see. We'll see. It's fine. Uh, I gotta get through this Fanta's here. What's going on, my man? Fanta. Hey yo. Um. So hey, Luke. Luke's points of miles. I made a boys. Hola miente. Hola. Boricua forever. That's right. <laughs> there we go. What? Yeah. What does Boricua mean? Boricua, so Puerto Rico is also known as Borinquen, right? The official, like if you call it the island, it's, mm. it's also, so Borinquenio means I'm from I'm from Puerto Rico. Boricua is just the, either you were born there or raised, you know, as a Puerto Rican somewhere else, but that's what that means. So Soy Boricua is like, I'm a New Yorker, I'm this, uh -huh. I'm that. That's what that means. So Boricua so, just means that. 
so is Luke also a, a boy? He is. He's official now. He drinks <laughs> rum. That's, <laughs> That's a thing. Okay. Oh, Luke, wow. put, put it right there. We the other day we had this on his live. He uh -huh. he's, we're gonna go to Puerto Rico, Anthony. We gotta go. Okay. We gotta do that. Okay. We'll meet up with Cesar. Yeah. That's it. I'll, it, it Cesar that. already has a spot for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, and uh, Luke also said, Joe. I thought the Wapa had a mm at the beginning. No, oh no. Wepa? Wait, what was that? What did he say? Wait, he thought it was mm wepa. Well, Where is it? You could do mm, yeah, you could do mm to any of the words like that, but but it's just wepa, like <laughs> over the top. Yeah. You know. So I can see that. Yahtzee, you might be able to use right as yeah. a word. <laughs> <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> oh god. Uh Opa. Opa's another one, right? Yeah. Like, a Greek thing, Greek, uh, yeah. Um, Joe looks like he's going to come through my TV. <laughs> this is too funny. Oh, god, the stream is pretty cool. I'm telling you, when I have this, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> if you have a 3D TV, it's gonna move with a forehead. <laughs> Yo, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> Stream art's pretty cool. All right. I like that I can pull this stuff up for it is so things. cool, man. I'm telling you, it's so easy. It's fun. <laughs> uh <laughs> Mr. Brian, I'm trying to donate, but it won't work for some reason. Does American Express do soft pull, uh, pulls on business cards as well as for, for current customers? I didn't get any well, I don't even know if they did a soft pull. I didn't get any pull on um from Amex. Never. The yeah. first one out was the platinum, and that was it. Hmm. Not yeah, even same. on the business or personal, nothing. Hotel cards, nothing. Yeah, I haven't really heard that. Yeah, but I, I was like a lot of people. First one was hard pull, the rest were and even the rest was just, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Keith mentioning your, your builds question. Builds is 524 spot, might not be worth it just for HOA. That's I'm true. so far over 524, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm at oh, that's like right. 824, 924. Jeez. But most of them hit at the same time. It was when I took all the cards out early last year. So according to card pointers that tracks when your due dates are or whatever, like when your 524 rule is up, it's January 2025. So hmm. by next January, all of them fall off, basically, because that'll be two years. Jeez. God. I'm laughing. <laughs> you should use your iPhone like I do. I'm going to censor the energy. We could make that a thing. Yeah, just the eye. Maybe I'll change my profile picture for a day to just yeah. an eye. That's gangster right there. <laughs> Come to the screen. Oh, my God. Oh, DJ Bruce Wayne. What's going on? Llegaron los Boricuas. You see? There you go. That means the Puerto Rican guy here. The, Boric the, the, the crew came in. El, El Garan or Alegran? Huh. Llegaron. Llegaron means they got here. Llegaron. They oh. arrived. Huh. Put the uh, wallet away. Don't go overspending on more Coquito. Yo, Coquito is the de Yo, it's the ish. Hey, Coquito's slamming, bro. Really? You never had that, Anthony? I don't know what that is. It's like an, people call it like an eggnog, but it's not really an eggnog. It's like literally like a coconut cream with, with cinnamon and liquor and they do it more for the holidays for christmas hmm. and you can get lit because it's so sweet but the kickback will knock you on your butt bro really real good okay. usually for the holidays right after thanksgiving interesting yeah <laughs> teenage girls stole my bumble and bumble hair products <laughs> <laughs> keep going crazy today <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> wait, he said, Anthony, the president lives in DC. Listen, man, you really think he lives there? You really think he's there? You know, he's in a bunker somewhere in NORAD, probably in the middle of this. <laughs> Why not? He's still, he's still high off that night but when they gave him the adrenaline shot. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to have to ask Calvi since he lived there. He used to see all that stuff. He would see, like, he said he sold, he, he used to see the uh, Secret Service pass by his place all the time. Pretty crazy trucks and all that whenever whoever's in town chad penny cuff i wouldn't save her had it less than a month 125 dollars in cash earned so far but also but i'm in the theme parks all the dang time disney 
He's in uh, Disney theme parks all the time. Which Disney in California or Florida? On oh, Florida, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. just to get into the park, you'll have like a hundred thousand points in no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to keep That's raising right. prices. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's got um, what do you call that? Uh, Disney Vacation Club. He's got a Disney Vacation Club. Oh, okay. Club. Mm -hmm. Um, oh Lord, what do we got here? What do we got here? Hey, Stan the Creator Frog coming by for a moment. Hola, Stan. Lunch break. I would hate to be in California, man. Oh, three three hours behind. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, look at that. He's been ordained official PR status. Luke is yes. an official Puerto Rican now. Wow. He is. Hmm. I got to get him an Hola Mi Gente badge and he be, and knight him like that. You know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> do you do it with a coquito? Just coquito? I do. We get a shot of coquito. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> then we have a coqui, which is the only frog that you could find in the world there is in PR is the, co is the coqui, the only one that makes that noise. Mm. It's a tree frog. I got you, Luke. When we go to when we go, and Anthony, you better go. When oh we go God. to New Orleans, we're gonna rock those Hola Mi Gente shirts, kid. I'm telling you, <laughs> that's great. Uh, oh, I, on I guess on par with that, I'll be on board Puerto Rico 2025 meetup. Says I. Oh. You know how sick that's gonna be. The most beautiful beaches, I may be biased, are in Puerto Rico. Really, hmm. you can go. A thousand yards out and see the floor. Hmm. Meanwhile, I go to the Jersey Shore here. I caught some kind of fungus and infection by standing on the sand. <laughs> it's like <laughs> wow. So, CR beaches are beautiful. Huh. Actually, on that topic, Brian's got actually a Puerto Rico question. I haven't booked my trip yet, but I'm planning on going. What will be the best time to go to Puerto Rico? That's not too hot, too crowded, and you get value on points. I love you. I'm gonna tell you right now, because that was that's me. 100 anywhere from after january 15th to the beginning of april not hot hmm. and then again because you don't want to get slammed with the holiday pricing end of september to the beginning of november so they don't slam you there because once november hits vacation time and the flights are up the hotels are expensive but if you don't want heat which i'm telling you the best time i ever had was in february because it's 80 degrees solid. It's like being in San Diego, no humidity, nothing. You can get hmm. dressed up. And actually in the evening, if you're in the mountains, it's chilly. It is beautiful, beautiful. And then you can go and do the, um, they have what they call the phosphorescent bay that you can go and there, there can't be a moon out at night. They take you on a little boat and they have a guy that jumps out. I don't know why the hell he does it, but when he swims, the his body is lit up. It literally outlines his body in these little organisms that light up. Huh. And see one of the few places on earth that does that. And it's there in Puerto Rico. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Beautiful. It's called La Palgueras. Do they have any like crazy high end hotels out there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. San Juan, especially Condado District. And then if that's on the East Coast, and if you go to the West Coast, it would be in Mayagüez. They have uh you know, high end properties. Um, they don't, they used to have one that, that used to be all inclusive, but now they don't do all inclusive like that in PR. Mm, I see. Yeah, they huh. just stopped doing it. But there's one by the rainforest in El Junque that's called Melia, and that's a beautiful resort, like mm. swimming pool, stuff like that. Um, mm. Puerto Rico has in Cerro Mal a hotel. At one point, it was the longest pool in the world. They called it, it was one of the first river pools that you can go to a swimming bar and stuff like that. So hmm. they have beautiful properties. Interesting. And don't care that, that light up thing, bioluminescence. Yeah, bioluminescence. bioluminescence. Yep. Thank you. That's it. Is that from all like the, uh, I used to hear like, what is it, phytoplankton or there was a specific? Yeah, it's, it's some weird, you know. So I went with my son a couple of years ago and we're on this. It's a little boat. It's like the, the most dangerous boat you ever want to be on. And there's a couple <laughs> celebrating their anniversary from Utah. Hmm. It's midnight. It's dark. This woman takes off her clothes to jump in the water and so she could see herself outlined in it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was the best boat ride ever for me. 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. You oh, have God. to be from Utah to do this because <laughs> <laughs> really, oh God! Imagine as a Mormon jumping in. Jeez. No, no, Maybe. forget it. See, okay, so Cayman has them. Yeah, there's a few spots, but it's like so specific where you got to go into the water to see this. It's amazing. Huh. Oh, Imagine so Luke f- being outlined in white in the water like that. <laughs> just, bulging ass muscles coming out. Yeah, it's just yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go there with my my uh, my classic gold card and just yeah, you, you know <laughs> I'll write if you if <laughs> if you like the planes that go by, I'll just write it for CJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, when you plan to go to Puerto Rico, because I'm still trying to figure out a time that would be cool to meet you all. Who knows? Cesar Cesar's the man. That's on Cesar that. Joel's plate. Yep, he'll tell that's... that. Now. It has to be some properties easy to book with points. He's right. Mm-hmm. Cesar, it's your responsibility now. You have been chosen. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, honorary. Honorary. <laughs> Puerto Rican man. Love it. <laughs> um, so <laughs> upon this, so we, we made it through, made it through a lot of the stuff. So we actually had some questions from the community posts and the discords. Um, which I'll bring up on the screen here. You guys are going to laugh how this looks. Uh, you ready? Here's the first question oh, we had. Yeah. Anthony Gomez. Anthony, yeah, right. Can I, hello? <laughs> I feel like I'm in the brain punch. <laughs> right. But what I what I did was just so it didn't look ridiculous, I had it here just so we could say Anthony Bovey's on the screen, but we also got the question down here, and then we can... Take it away. Look at that, baby. We're doing it. So Anthony Bobby had a question since he found out me and uh, Joe from New York and whatnot. He said, if you could pick any food for breakfast, why would it be a toasted bagel with bacon, egg, and cheese, all one word, and salt, pepper, ketchup, also one word, and which deli is best? Go ahead, Anthony. You go first. <laughs> so, so we had a deli. <laughs> So, so you're right. Yes, if you're gonna pick any food for breakfast, it has to be bacon, egg, and cheese, uh, salt, pepper, ketchup. If you guys aren't familiar, when you go to you know any any deli really in New York, that's like you know everyone's getting a bacon, egg, and cheese. But the way they say salt, pepper, ketchup is all one word. It's not like do you want salt, you know, do you want pepper, you want no. There's like you want salt, pepper, ketchup. It's like okay, yes, <laughs> definitely. So if you guys go to Staten Island, right <laughs> right across the street on Richmond Avenue, across the street from the YMCA, there's a I actually don't know the name of it. I used to go like 3 a.m. for milk runs there and stuff like that. You know, we won't get into that. But I used to go there and it was a guy named Smiley in there. And Smiley, he's a nice guy. And I remember he tried to, he, I, as a joke once, I brought like a, a 40 ounce. I was like, let me see if he'll actually let me buy it. So I put it up there. I was like 18 and they're 60. I don't even remember, maybe 17. And then he, and then I, I put it up there and he just rang me up. He's like, oh yeah. And I was like, wait, you're not even going to ask for like ID or anything. I didn't want the 40 ounce. I just wanted to see if he would. He says, well, I'm friends with you. So yeah, <laughs> of course. But they used to make really good, uh, uh, you know, bacon and cheese and whatnot. And of course it's good when you come from the gym, walk across the street, you know, you get one of them. So go hit up smiling. I have to tell Anthony Bove is that see, in that's in Staten Island. Yeah. We go to bodegas. <laughs> So it's no mm. deli. It's the guy's name was either Papo, <laughs> Papi, or in the last 10 years, Habibi. Seriously. Mm. Habibi, right? Brother. That's what I'm. And you don't get it on a bagel. You just get it on a roll. And they have the flat that, like, sometimes they don't even have the flat iron to make, like, the panini press. So mm. what they do is. They have a brick with aluminum foil wrapped around it to put the weight on the bread to flatten it if you wanted the bread toasted because they didn't have a toaster. Mm. That's the hood sandwich. Ah. The same with chopped cheese. So they take ground, they feed them, cut it on the on the flat thing, and they just throw cheese like if it's some weird ass Philly cheesesteak. I don't know. Bagels, you had to go to like a real deli to get good bagels. But the mm. neighborhoods was all rolls and you know either the heroes or the round sandwich rolls. So what about this then, uh, as a fellow New Yorker? If if you're going, well, if you're not getting a bacon, egg, and cheese, have you ever ordered like just a you know bagel and cream cheese, just standard? Yes. So when you went to when you went to go get the bagel with cream cheese, how how thick was the cream cheese at your places at these bodegas? I wish I had a phone book. 
<laughs> yes. It was like that, right? It was like a white Big Mac. <laughs> yes, it, literally that that yeah. It was that size. It would it be like a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You have to ask for a shmia because that's what they uh, like. It. It's a shmia. <laughs> but that shit was brolic. You yeah. had cheese. And then you ha- you couldn't. You had cream cheese in your teeth the whole day because you couldn't get rid of it. It was like chewing on play doh. <laughs> I used to get. I remember when I was working at uh, driving school at the time. I used to get two of those from my guy next door, and he would do it that thick. So I'll get two of them. And I'll get these drinks called like nutriment drinks, and they had like chocolate and vanilla, and they were like an extra three hundred calories. I think they're like a senior living kind of drink, but I used to get it for the calorie. I think it was a thousand calories on a break. Oh, it was pretty good. You know, it's not bad, but yeah, that's right, that's right. A sh- sh- oh, Shmia. wait, keep this. Amex still sucks. I gotta leave. <laughs> Bye, Pete. Bye. Yes, come through the screen. <laughs> Thank you, sir, Keith. I appreciate you. Keith, you're the uh, man, Keith. Jake, you're cure. Got to respect the schmear. Always, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Jake. So how's that Amex working for you, Jake? I, I want you to do... See, Jake is young. Jake could pull off those videos. I like the way he, he smoothly comes into his videos and just turns suave and goes, my American Express plan. Like, it's like a commercial. <laughs> it's like Calvin Klein-esque. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. Okay. I you know what you. I mean? He has that aura, like it's, it's a little dark in the room, like Amex. <laughs> Life isn't the same since. since- <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I can see. Oh my god. That's, too funny. That's great. Oh, oh to be man. Young. Gotta love it. Oh my God! What is Keith doing here? How many? Two, two he must have a welcome okay. walker he's working on. Keith, Taylor Ham. I get pork the roll. pork roll. That's a Jersey thing. Taylor Ham for me, because pork roll is kind of the same crap, but it's just the name of it makes me nauseous. But Taylor Ham, I could do. I actually never heard of this stuff. To be honest. Premium. So in Jersey, New York was always Boar's Head, Boar's Head mm-hmm. brand. Yeah, Jersey is Thumans, and I learned that the hard way when I went, came here to move to Hackensack, and then I asked the deli, oh, can I get some boards? And he's like, no, it's Thumans. I was like, okay. <laughs> the hell's... It's a Jersey thing, Thumans. And I'm a lot sure. of the pork rolls. It's the same crap, basically. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I can't, I'm trying to think of anything. Oh, you know, sorry, I kind of unrelated, but I just remember from these deli talks, another thing I used to like to get which was they literally would make you like a metal tray. You know, you got to like fold it to, to lock it in, but a metal tray with the, uh, or no, tin. It was like a, maybe a tin tray and it's got the eggs and you got pancakes, you got sausage, bacon. It's really good. It's like, you know, $8, $7. It's pretty good. Yeah. Look for that price now. You haven't been here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like true. 15 South- bucks. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? I think what would be smart, South Carolina has something called Sully Steamers out here. I don't know if they're in other states. But Sully Steamers is literally their entire business model is bacon, egg, and cheese on a on a roll on a bagel. That's their entire thing, and they have like they they can put the ham in between. They put, but it, all of it is bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, and they like, add little things. And everybody loves it. Every this one that's a couple, you know, not too far from here. And lines are out the door. They're open at like seven a.m. Like it's huge. We should bring that to New York. I think it would kill. No, oh, that works. Yo, I think, it, don't forget to tell people because we always forget. Hit like. Okay. Somebody said the other day, it doesn't cost you anything. Hit like. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it, of course. Um, uh, that's funny. Oh, speaking of <clears throat> the uh, Puerto Rico meetup, it's going to be in the Venture Capital Discord. So I was going to be talking about some stuff in there. So if you're not joined already, you know, come on and join. Um, John, Mr. John R. Also go uh, subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Great guy. Um, I heart Amex. And then, yeah. Me. <laughs> that's your son. So that's, uh, that's great. I heart Amex. Oh, God. Keith and John are going to start fighting. <laughs> um, huh. I thought Taylor Ham was a South Jersey thing and Pork Roll was North Jersey. I don't know. Yo, Matt Clawson, he knows too much. Like, why would you even know? I, I always laugh that Matt Clawson has infinite knowledge about everything. It's so crazy. Or I reverse. Just the name of it, I guess. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, people in Jersey fight about the name Taylor Ham or Corporal. Interesting. Right. I'm not kidding. But that's a day huh. thing. I tell people I live in Jersey. I'm from the Bronx. So mm. I wear that's that. Right. You cannot take my New York ID away. <laughs> it's right. It never fully goes away. I was so upset to give up my New York license and go. You know, my God. sister cried when she. We all. Li- she cried. She didn't want to get rid of it. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's sad. Like, okay, who's Chad is the one that's in Disney, right? Chad like, Pennycuff, yeah. So you know when you stand online to get into the rides and people just strike up conversation because you're there for like seven hours and everybody wants to know where the hell you're from? <laughs> so I've never heard anybody go, yo, I'm from uh, Hackensack, New Jersey. No, but if I'm like, yo, I'm from the Bronx. I'm like, oh, man. You know, <laughs> it's, it's that's one of those things. You know, it carries a little bit more, uh, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I had somebody Absolutely. tell me, you I'm from Newark. I'm like, <laughs> I don't care how badass you think you are, but, you know, you're not the Bronx. We're the only ones with a the in front of it. That's true. That's right. Yeah. That's We're not true. the Queens or the no. Brooklyn. The <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's funny when you tell people from New York because they immediately assume, or at least out here in South Carolina, because a lot of people from upstate who move here, upstate New York, not from the city. Right. And they assume I'm from Manhattan, the, the, the city. I'm like, yeah, from Staten Island, yes. which is honestly Shaolin. like South Carolina. Shaolin. 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 Right, yes. <laughs> um, Bruce, Bruce Wayne, DJ Bruce Wayne, what's going on? Watch out, eyes emoji. Amex is going to do a revamp big and make all of us look stupid. For some reason, I see a secret board group creating a master plan like Dr. Evil. Yeah, $1 million for an <laughs> annual fee. <laughs> A million dollar annual fee platinum card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I've been waiting every Thursday for their, for news. Every Thursday, I'm waiting. But Matt hasn't left his base. Didn't leave his base. He's finally coming up to see the sky. Matt, I was waiting in the bunker for like. Oh. Two <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was that's like, horrible. Fuck the Tony Phil. <laughs> that is such a niche reverence. Fuck the Tony Phil. The groundhog. <laughs> you know, sees a shadow, whatever. It's six more months, of, six more weeks of winter. Oh, remember, were you around uh, at that time when, uh, you remember Staten Island Chuck? He was also yeah. the ground. Yeah. It bit, wasn't it a bit, <laughs> right? Which mayor? It bit one of them. Which mayor did it bite? Kate. She was can't it hear me. Was Big Bird? It, I think it might have been De Blasio. I think it might have been. I can't remember. Matt would know. I think he probably knows everything. But I feel like, remember that? He, he like bit him and he dropped him. I think, he, dropped I think he died. Him. I think he died. The, um, oh, well. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. It sucks to be Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, man. This is too funny. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I've been waiting every Thursday for a new Amex card. You have it. You have been. You say it all the time. I'm like, we'll see. I'm going to try to be first to that Amex Gold News. It'll be like 6 a.m. I'll start live streaming from here. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, listen. We the news is out. <laughs> You're going to pull a Chad's Money Minutes and be in a hotel like this. Yo, yeah. People, <laughs> this, it's 4.30 in the morning. There's one person online. <laughs> He says, "You know what? But I don't. Doing, I don't care." John is always. Do- John, That's- how you doing, John? <laughs> and Matt would chime in. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, okay. <laughs> how you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! I'm so happy we did this. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> wait, the jet, wait, the jet can't stop laughing. <laughs> he said, "Sorry, I'm late." <laughs> oh. Yo, if you think about it, when I first met Matt, he didn't have a beard or a mustache waiting for Wells to put up his transfer partners. <laughs> he grew it in nice. Oh, my God. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's, the scar. <laughs> he said, I love you, man. I love he you. the sky. <laughs> It's coming, Matt. It's coming. You'll see it's coming, Matt. <laughs> the sky is overrated. Oh, my Show God. Oh, oh my cry. God. That was, that was good. Oh, I don't think I've ever laughed this hard. Oh, this dream <laughs> He didn't have a beard. Oh. <laughs> He did it, man. He was clean shaven. I swear to God. Oh. Oh. He was like Caesar. I couldn't tell them apart. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, woof. Oh, my God. I'm going to put the AC on. This is too, this is too much. Oh. Yo, you guys, because I can't see Hussein Watt here on this end. Oh. You guys are the best. Let me tell you. I love this. This is just... I've been looking forward to this forever. <laughs> this is hilarious. I love it. I love it. So inappropriate. <laughs> Obviously, all in good fun. <laughs> but that's freaking hilarious. This guy is overrated. <laughs> God. Oh. Don't pee your pants. <laughs> You're in trouble if you do. Oh. True. I'm off. True. <laughs> That's right. Those old Allstate commercials with, with whatever his name is. He'd say, you're in good hands with Allstate. My dad used to say, you're in. Like, you're in good hands. <laughs> hey, Rolick dude with the deep voice, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, that guy. The original guy. <laughs> Joe, look at the comments to him on the right in StreamYard. No, I don't have anything here. You? Oh, you, oh, you can't see anything, right? No. Oh, I thought you can see. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm a little slow because I had it on private chat where it was nothing and all miraculously <laughs> all the they, comments came up. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Don Kim, how you doing? Okay, Chad, thank you. You saved me, Chad. Oh, yeah, the doctor, the it's guy is right for you. Yo. <laughs> Matt, you need to make a video. Just signify cash or vitamin, you know, outside. Like <laughs> he needs to come out of a bunker. I swear to God, I'm willing to dig you like, <laughs> a hole. You come out. <laughs> just, if you see your shadow, they're gonna drop a new transfer partner. If you don't, <laughs> oh, what was that one movie where like it was like the parents took the son into a bunker under the ground? I think it was early two thousands. I can't think. They they took him and then he emerges and he's like tw like twenty five years old and he's like the most normal guy. He read a lot of books and stuff, but the world was like in shambles. It was like a, it was like a fallout and stuff. What the hell movie was that? That's gonna be Matt coming out of the bunker. Oh, <laughs> the well that issue. <laughs> Sky Rizzy. I love that commercial. <laughs> oh, Fall. what's? Oh, Kate. Wait, Kate came in. Blast from the past. Is that it? That's Brendan. Yeah. Oh, Brendan Fraser. That yes. He's like in the bunker, and like the parents keep him in there, and then one day he, he comes out and he emerges, and the people look at him funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go to chat. What? Go to we need to go find me for Matt to get a green skin or camera that doesn't focus on the. Oh come on! Listen, Matt. Matt, I gotta. We gotta defend Matt now. All right. So Matt, <laughs> <laughs> this is too. This is too much. You can't have three people going after Matt. <laughs> Matt gets the news out faster than anybody. He puts out three videos a day. He's killing it. Absolutely killing it. He's gonna hit 500 subs soon. Oh, but that's funny. Key, what's going on, Key? Happy Saturday. Oh, absolutely. Happy Saturday. Oh, freaking crying laughing. This is so funny. I can't. <laughs> Matt, guys, guys. Vitamin D supplements exist. I'm, I'm actually up state right now. <laughs> he doesn't need it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Been, I, I just can't. I swear to God. You guys are just the best. I kid you not. This is just a freaking riot. This is the funniest. Oh, God. I don't think I ever laughed this hard. Honestly. I love it. 
<laughs> wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What was it Jake says? Matt has a six. A six set up Loki. <laughs> Yo, he does. Yo, we don't know what's behind there. Matt has is holding Wells Bankers hostages in the back. <laughs> Give me the signifier. Yeah. <laughs> Has them tied up in handcuffs and duct tape. <laughs> yep, Matt hanging out in Norad with the president, right? That's <laughs> right. With all the Wells fucking executives. Take that line of the D. <laughs> Girlfriend's bunker. Oh, my God. Uh, what's up, Woodsy? Woodsy, how you doing? <laughs> Mexican American. Mexican. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> huh. MX Business Gold will honor all food purchases as forex dining, even drive through, especially if you have multiple charge cards with annual fees. Call customer service to request this perk. <laughs> Salute. Yeah, Thank you. The business gold card is just ah. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> I like their multipliers, but then it also depends. Like, God forbid you screw up that month and you didn't use one more than the other, then you're done. That's my yeah. problem. You know, so. <laughs> didn't think I'd become Swank, neither did I. This is, uh, <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you get with Matt, Joe. We love you, Matt. <clears throat> all right. So, we'll, all right. As we're coming out of that, we have another question. <laughs> we have another question. Wait, where is it? No, there it is. <clears throat> Stan the Critter Frog. Stan the Critter Frog wants to know: Is Joe's oldest credit card older or younger than Tony? That's what that's what Stan wants to know, Joe. I'm devastated. Stan is going to be—he's bullying me like that. That <laughs> don't let Stan's little innocent face fool you. Huh? <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, you know what? <laughs> Look, I'm I'm gonna keep it real, and you guys will see <laughs> shameless plug tomorrow when I put up my next video. Oh, Woodsy came through. Look at oh this. my god, Woodsy! Oh my god, twenty super chat. Just going to you know leave this here. Keep it up, you guys. Hope to see everyone at the meetup, man. Absolutely. Appreciate you, Woodsy. Yo, Appreciate that's gonna you. force Anthony to go. Oh god. No it's pressure. Enough. I'm gonna go get your ass from South Carolina and throw you <laughs> over the border, and we're gonna take you there. All right. Ugh. Why couldn't but, we go somewhere wholesome like Disney? It will be wholesome. <laughs> we'll sing Namaste songs. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, we can do that. Oh God, would you appreciate but I, you, my man? My oldest card, technically, is a debit card, which really wasn't a debit card back then. But from 1988, was my Citibank card. That's my oldest bank account. 1988. Open that account. Oh. Remember. <laughs> In 1984, <laughs> so, I was going to college at St. John's. I opened up a Citibank account. So you can imagine, older than everybody here put together, I'm sure. Not Filmo, though. Filmo is a <laughs> good 36 years old. From that picture? <laughs> it was just the lighting. He was where Matt was. <laughs> he was in the basement. <laughs> he was in the bunker, the Wells Fargo bun bunker. Oh God! Look at that! Pit. I always—I don't even know who that is. Like Rick Toffin or something. Film. I definitely have cards older than Tony. Oh God! Yeah, fifty. He's Still 50. younger than me. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> fifty-seven. Kid Heinz, fifty-seven, right here. God, let me just say one more time, Woodsy. Appreciate you, man. I know <clears throat> work's really busy for you at the moment. Thanks for thanks for stepping in um, for a second and the super chat. That's that means a lot. Um, no, I'll pick up Woodsy. <clears throat> too cool kid too cool he said uh i'll pick up tony on my way down and i'll staying at the Waldorf. yeah me yeah that's fine Woodsy, <laughs> we, you know you know me and Woodsy did a live once on uh, in person did you uh, did you know that? i don't think we knew each other no. one <clears throat> yeah he came he came to south carolina and we he, we uh we hung out for a little oh, bit cool. yeah, no, i gotta crazy. do that wait mm -hmm. i got people putting up ages here chad is 53 juan is 47 <laughs> Luke is 46. John is 51. I'm still the OG here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, 46, 51. Sledge is 51, too. I'll put him in there. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> That's true. Wow. that 53. Still and still <laughs> oldest guy in the credit card game. 
Chupa Reto. The Boricua Baller. The Boricua Baller. <laughs> but Chad Penny, 53. Man, we did a live together on his show on uh, my DVC points. I thought you were like maybe 40. I thought you were like 40, 41. I didn't think you were 53. That's, that's great. Looking good. Basically, for the guys putting up the age, Anthony could be our son. Let's just call it that. All right? <laughs> just, you know. uh, <laughs> I, I could. <laughs> I could. But since I'm Puerto Rican, I only have 29. Yeah, what's the deal with the no. Puerto Rican, man? They don't look old there. Puerto Ricans don't crack. Nope. Seems so. You just Even... said earlier, my skin, right? We don't... Yeah. Yeah. No. <clears throat> look at look at Cesar as well. Cesar's got Cesar, like yo, bro, perfect. He's like 30. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's in his 40s. I have to get out of here. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had his picture right now. I'll pull him up. <clears throat> uh 44. See, you know, you know, it's funny. I, you look at the analytics in the back end, like, okay, the Anthony Venture channel, what, who's the audience? Like, you have 10% female, 90%, uh, you know, male. But when you look at uh, audience age, everybody who watches my stuff, like, over 50% is 35 and up. Uh, I wonder why. Old people. I wonder why. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know. We don't like the young crowds. <laughs> screw, screw Spencer Johnson. No okay. <laughs> um, it's Kate, you guys need to drop the skincare routines. He did earlier. I did. Yo, I'm telling you, I have like four <laughs> shelves, a closet full of crap. I'm Ulta's favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Luke got me on that. Like, scissors are wow. <laughs> wow. Go screenshot that and send it to <laughs> I just screenshotted it. Oh God! Oh, this is 146. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in 1980. Yo, I mean, I mean 1880s. Our huh? frog years like dog years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, we are going to hell. Oh, it's wow. too funny. Mm. Oh my God. Augie's travels 49. <laughs> oh, Augie. Put it been in the points game since 94. Wow. Chad said, because people don't start getting their stuff together financially till the 30s. So maybe that's why. True. Why I people are watching. Hmm. Final ducks in a row. He <laughs> censored, censored himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam. Oh, let's go up, Sam. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry. I. I mentioned my age, but I've got that to me. <laughs> you know, Matt is the only channel that doesn't have his face as the profile picture. Actually, John, too. <laughs> what is, is that like Lake George or something in upstate? Do you know how difficult it was for me to find them? Like, because <laughs> there was a thousand John R's and God forbid you put a space in between it. Yeah. You know, there was like porn. <laughs> like I was seeing John R. I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, rated R John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could see that. Oh. Most hobbies become investments as we get older. True. Um, oh, okay, fine. We'll we'll jump we'll jump to your question, Michael Wong. Let me find it. Uh, uh, Michael Wong. No, wait. There we go. Uh, all right. Who you got? Knicks or Nets? Islanders or Rangers? And of course, Mets or Yankees and Jets or Giants. This should show your true New York fandom. And I'll pull it up here. You're not gonna like any of this. What do you say? What so, do you say, man? You go first. Basketball. You go first. Basketball. Well, I mean, am I allowed to say that I don't watch any of any sports at all? At all? Can you just talk? I watch UFC. That's fun. All right, fine. Uh, there was a time where I watched one hockey game, and I was for the Rangers at that time. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to give you that one. Didn't they have Luongo in, in goalie at that time? Roberto Luongo? I don't know. I think he was cool. But that's that's, that's it? That's, I, that's, I didn't watch any sports. I don't know. So for <laughs> me, and I'm going to catch a lot of crap, being from the Bronx, I can't stand the Yankees. I'm a Mets fan. Hmm. Basketball doesn't do it for me. I grew up watching some of the Knicks. I always liked the Celtics. The only New York basketball team I like is St. John's because for college, that's where I went. Hmm. Football, I'm going to go to zero subscribers when I say who I like. 
Uh oh. The Dallas Cowboys. Oh, is that a big I'm problem? I'm a hardcore Cowboys fan since I was oh. a child. Roger uh -oh. Staubach. Hmm. You, your parents probably were dating. Not even. <laughs> Not even dating. They're the same age as me. But um, I love Dallas. So I drove to Dallas to go play on the field. I kid you not. Really? Yeah. I'm wow. Die hard. Die hard. For my 40th, I went to Dallas, see them play the Giants. Tony Romo's first game. I'm that die hard. Yeah. Uh -oh. Hockey doesn't really do it for me. Islanders when I was growing up, because they were great. Man. Oh, probably Luongo was an Islander. Oops. Yep. There you go. Whoops. And I uh, like Islanders. Oops. Yikes. I, I, wow, I, I knew I, I was going to get a cowgirls comment there. There we go. Joe likes the Cowboys. Wait, what's the deal with the Cowboys? That like not why can't you be a fan of the Dallas Cowboys? What's wrong with that? Because there were America's team, and like an idiot, when my son went to study at the University of Pittsburgh, forgetting me for that this is Steeler country, I wore my Cowboys jersey as I checked into the hotel, and they go, "We don't have a room for you." I said, "Why not?" This is Steeler country. I said. Ah, damn! <laughs> the wrong jersey. Really? Like wow, it. that's uh, horrible. Somebody put up there. Go back. Okay, Phil. Phil Mo. If it's Phil. See, back in the day, Chris Mullen was legit. Phil, I took classes with Chris Mullen. I started. I started St. John's in '84. They went to the Final Four in '85. So I went. I took classes with Chris Mullen. Walter Berry, Mark Jackson, I saw Patrick Ewing on campus, Bill Wennington, that whole crew. Wow, the classes with so that was cool. Interesting. Yeah, Anthony, Bird, Celtics. That's why I like them too. There you go. And Cody says, Anthony, you don't watch sports. Might as well join Matt in the bunker. I'm down with the. I'm, I'm happy. I'm down to go in the bunker. Matt, invite me. Invite me to the bunker. I'll come there. Um. <clears throat> oh, did you see this, uh, Joe? Do you follow any of this stuff? Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, is that a Cowboys stadium? Too many people. Yeah, okay. Really? I just hope Iron Mike whips his <laughs> just total annihilation. Done. Really. Your, your 10 minutes of fame are over, kid. It's a wrap. You think so? You really <laughs> I think Tyson. Come on, Tyson? I don't care how old you still you still got gangster in your blood. I'm sorry. Hmm. You know he's. It's funny. I watched him on Joe Rogan, and Joe even mentioned this. Like the two times he had Mike Tyson on, he had Mike Tyson on like a like a year ago, and then he came back on recently. And he was like, they were like totally different people because one was preparing for a fight and one wasn't. And then Mike, Mike Tyson was like, I don't like to be that person. Like he wants to leave that person gone. But all of a sudden he started getting jacked again. His demeanor was like really serious. He didn't joke around about anything. Like it's like a crazy mindset shift. No, you put yourself in that mindset. No. Yeah. Um, somebody mentioned that Michael, yeah, Ewing was at Georgetown, but when they came to play St. John's, they were all in the Big East. So I would see him all the time on campus. Huh. Tyson is a bad, bad man, even now. Woo! <laughs> Michael just bite his ear. Isn't it funny? That still persists till today. So many fights, but the one thing. Oh, that's crazy. Uh-oh. Unsubscribe and Joe. Come on, man. You got to find That's 45 people you need now for you. <laughs> <laughs> to get to 3,000. I you lost I'm, one. I'm begging you guys, share, hit the <laughs> notification bell. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> the bunker's full, guys. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, Luke, Tyson never beat anyone better than Jake Paul. The 58 year old Larry Holmes doesn't count. Ooh, son. Ooh, ooh Luke. See, Luke, when I was a kid, I mean, everybody always says that when they were growing up, that whatever was theirs was, was the best, right? But hmm. boxing in the late 70s and 80s up to early 90s was amazing. Hmm. So you had Roberto Duran, Mano de Piedra. You had um, Julio Cesar Chavez. You had a bunch of guys that, you know, Tommy Hearns. You had all these guys that would just, bro, you can't compete with these guys now. Forget it. They would have just wept the floor with them. Did you see um, that? <laughs> Oh my god. I need a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so That's messed people. up, man. I didn't make fun of Mickey. Come on, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Um, 
Name the best fighter Tyson ever beat. I'll wait. Ooh. That was, you know, that was um oh, what's his name? What's what's the guy's the 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 trainer? He said he's not a good fighter. He's not. He never had a hard fight. What the hell is it? What's his name? I can't think of his name. Oh. See, God. I wasn't a Tyson, I wasn't a heavyweight fan like that. I I liked the middleweights and lightweights when I was a kid. Welterweights. A lot of Puerto Ricans were welterweight champions. That's why I followed them. Hmm. Hey, but Tyson was just a mean son of a gun. Luke could take on and kick Tyson's ass. We all know that. So, Luke, who was the best fighter he beat? Come on, tell him. Raise, hey, raise a rock, man. I How like the way that, that guy. Played. Yeah. He was quick. He was ridiculous at that time from all the stuff I saw. Oh, Tony Atlas. Yes, yes, yes. Tony Atlas. He said he was never a good fighter. He never had never a hard perfect. fight. Teddy, oh, Teddy <laughs> Atlas. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> Teddy Atlas. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Wait, Lord. Somebody just put Gurkis. What is mm. it? Uh, off subject. What's the best roof for Amex since I started the Platinum Car last April? Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to keep a Platinum, maybe downgrade to a green and get some upgrade offers. Upgrade to the gold. Upgrade offer to the gold. Upgrade offer to yes. the Platinum. Skip one, right? <laughs> Skip one. Well, you might be able to do both, right? Like, couldn't you? No, but I'm saying skip over the gold to to green first, right? Yeah, I would and see say. if they give you an offer for the gold later. Yeah, smart. Yeah, I yeah. never thought of that, Anthony. That that's that's smart. I think I don't I don't know what else. Well, I don't know any other thoughts. Just a business card, maybe. Hmm. Uh, Tyson lost to every great boxer he fought. Yeah, that was that was Teddy's. That was his thing, man. That's what he said. Whew. Interesting. I to be honest, I do think I do think Jake Paul might win. <laughs> I think he might beat Dyson. How? I, I, I just be so much younger. I mean, I don't know. I watched I watched Jake's a lot of fights, man. He's he's fought a lot of people. A lot of people say like they're not good, but I don't know, he's fighting a lot of good people. He's doing all right. Did you did you see yesterday's fight? Uh Francis my, Ngannou and Anthony Joshua? My my nephew was talking about that. I didn't see it. No. That's crazy. That was crazy. That Ngano, you know, from the UFC, just master of just de demolishing people. He got lights out almost like pretty much twice by Anthony Joshua. Very like, was it a first round? Wild. Absolutely wild. I couldn't believe it. See, back in the day, like when the um UFC first started, hmm. they're not as violent now as they were back then. Yeah. I I'll never forget. There was this guy that weighed like 450 pounds. And he fought this guy that was a stick. And all the stick had to do was knock him off his feet and must have given him 15 elbows to the eye. Yes. And just done. The it was the guy, right? disgusting fight I ever saw. But back then it was brutal. Like it was blood sport for real, for real. You know? Oh, yeah. I think I think Gary Goodridge did that. I think I think uh, was it Hoist Gracie who was in the early days Hoist, doing Hoist Gracie, yeah. It's so crazy. You ever that look back family. in? You ever look back in history and, and look at some of the crazy like nowadays? It's cool to be like YouTuber boxing, or if you're a Jake Paul coming from uh, there fighting UFC fighters, or now UFC fighters are coming to boxing. Do you remember uh, the time when I was I was watching this one time many years ago? Lyle Azedo, uh, yeah. the football player, football he player. said, I'll, I'll, yeah. "He said I'll fight anybody in any alley in any place on earth." He ended up fighting Muhammad Ali. <laughs> that, that was like the first time that there was a cross between. It might have been once before, but I thought that was really cool. He yeah, the only other finish. cross was wrestling and boxing when they would do that for show more than anything else. Oh, like uh, Mayweather came in and like knocked you know, out they, the big show. <laughs> Even Ali back in the day, that was all a big thing, you know. Like a show. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. that's we have that's, who's hmm? the pride 909. You both get a lot of credit cards at a certain point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you, yeah, explain that one to me. So you both get a lot of credit cards at a certain point, right? Are you all kept out on your subs with credit cards? Are getting close to it? I think he means like, are you running out of runway of how many credit cards you can get? Like, is there a day when the subs are going to run out? <laughs> yeah. So for Amex, for me, 
because I can't, I'm not going to get the green sub. If I, even if I can get the green card, but not the sub, hmm. I have the platinum, I had the gold, the business goal, right? Yeah. Um, I can go up Hilton's chain because I'm only at the honor is the basic one. Mm. I have all the chase in cards. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Delta? No, because I never flew Delta. I've never flown Delta. Really? Huh. Never. So at some point, I mean, that's why I'm I'm looking at honestly Wells and, and other banks because I gotta see what else is out there that would piggyback onto some of the partners that we already have on the other side, you know, because if not, the, I don't want to chase Freedom Flex. I've never had one. I don't want that or the unlimited. I have hmm. the business version. Why get the, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I mean, unless you're just trying to get quick 20K, you know, 20K points. I, I think you should look at the Delta, man. I'm, I'm really, really loving Delta. And I like, I just booked some stays with the Delta stays credit that they just updated and on my business gold. And it's pretty cool. I, See, I like that Newark is United. So for me, United is the hub here. Uh, and then I think JFK is American pretty much still. Hmm. And I don't know if LaGuardia is Delta. Hmm. Okay. So that, that's the only thing is getting there for me is the issue, you know? Huh. Right, United is Newark. Yep. Delta is a bit comparable. How is the business card for um, uh, Delta? Is it worth it? I think the gold is super worth it because it's like it's zero dollar annual fee for the first year. So already, if you want to cancel it a year from now, cool. It's a business card. You get one hundred and fifty dollar Delta Stays credit, which is via Expedia. So I booked a couple of hotels with it. So um, you get use that for a hotel. It doesn't have to be airline. No, yeah, it's supposed to be four hotels. Yeah, the okay. one fifty credit. Um, I mean, your check bags are free. Up to nine people on your reservation. Uh, priority boarding, which have, you know helped a little bit when I flew okay. to Vegas. Um, JFK, JFK is Delta as well. Uh, Luke mentions. I heard the airline is great. I just never, you know, especially where I live in Florida. The closest airport. It used to be, well, the airport's still there, but Daytona, no, you have to go to Atlanta to make a change. So I'm not going to do that. So the closest mm -hmm. one for me is Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And then Jacksonville is limited as to the number of flights that go in there. And Newark is the one with the most because of United. And they're a mm -hmm. ripoff, let me tell you. Really? It could be 300, 400 bucks right now round trip mm -hmm. for a 12 hour flight. Jeez. Okay, see, okay, flying area has been a hot mess. Southwest, bleh. <laughs> Platinum gold. Okay, so buy one, get one free. Is that what that is? Yeah, so the, the Platinum, <clears throat> the Platinum Delta card has a companion certificate. So if you, you know, book a flight, you can, you know, get the, like if you're flying with your wife or something, you can get her ticket for free, you know, once per year. Um, you know what? Then, it, so yeah. it won't count again. So I could do it through Amex. So the, which is better, the gold or the platinum? Then I think it's good to get the gold first because you get your feet wet, and it's a zero dollar annual fee. So it's like no commitments first year. You're not having to foot the really the bill. Okay. Platinum, you're gonna have to pay three fifty. You know, as soon as you get the card. But that the 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 gold is just like all right, free first year, which is cool. And at least it throws the miles into your thing. And then if you decide to go to the next one, you can get that. Right, because yeah. they're gonna do it that way. They uh, they're doing the same crap as everybody else. Where you gotta do the next yeah. level, right? Okay. I would just I would just expect okay. <laughs> everybody health and everything. Plus, yeah, I don't know if you use Resi, but yeah, you get um, and then Uber, you know, or Lyft uh, credits as well. Okay. I don't know if you use any of that. That you know, works. The platinum. I would consider the platinum to be honest. Like, oh, if I wasn't the platinum doing is a keeper. Okay, so you would start at the platinum. Chad, what do you think, Chad? Um, John, I got the gold first and Delta Platinum. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Crazy Rocks has hit it twice in the last two weeks. Du, du, du. Let's see. Yeah. Start at the gold and then get to, okay, to get the sub. Okay. Agreed. Yeah. Um. They have that ladder crap, yeah. The family language. Yep, okay. That's what I figured. All right. 
All right, let's see. We gotta get through some of these other questions too. From the Discord. Uh, <laughs> Keith, that's great. That's a great question. Did I put this one in here? Yeah, I did. So, so Keith asks, this is with his old profile picture, um, Joe, when are you going to cut up your platinum cord on a live? So, probably not for a while. <laughs> as much as I complain about the high fees, I use that card. Matter of fact, the other day, I laughed because it was a dumb move, but it was just funny at the reaction I got at the other end. I went to um, Starbucks, and I'm not really a Starbucks guy. I like Dunkin' Donuts better. But I forgot my, my uh, Discover card because you could still get the restaurant, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I left it. So I gave the guy the platinum card. You and it was a young kid. You had to see him go like, wow. like he was amazed. Really? <laughs> I was just <laughs> like, this is the worst card to use now. But you know, I use it. I get all the credits for Sirius XM, Peacock. I, I get the Uber credits. I you know I use that. I use it for Paramount, the Walmart Plus. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm gonna do the FHR again now that I I. See, I screwed up last year. And to be fair, when I posted that I thought it was a horrible setup, I didn't know how to use it right. And you taught me, Anthony, how to use it better by using when you did it. Hmm. You know, because you get the lure of, okay, I got $200 off. But I didn't really know how to maneuver the second part when you're there. What else I can get? How else I can use it and better play to it? Yeah. So now that I know better, I think I'll have a better experience with it. Hmm. So I'll be using that again. And then the two hundred dollar airline credit, you can't beat that. You know, I just travel mm. bank it with, with United, and I buy myself United Club passes. So I have enough United passes that, you know, I'm going to use two of them now when I go next month. So it's it's all good. For sure, definitely. Um, okay, that's funny. Uh, no, totally. I love FHR. It's my favorite. No, no, you and you really ever. laid it down. That that video was amazing. So. Thanks, well, man. somebody's giving you a shout out there, Anthony. Speed Star. Hi, Anthony. Just want to shout you out for the video on the Amex corporate card benefits. Yeah, that was an older video. It's like uh, 10 months ago. I think you just saw it. I think he's getting it on his green card, but I think he also gave me data points on like, man, I can't remember. There were certain cards that wasn't, like, I think it didn't work for the business cards. Uh, I'm trying to remember. And it like didn't kick in for a year that the corporate card benefits, but... For sure. If you guys are interested in the corporate card benefits, I think the video is called How to Get the Amex Platinum Card Cheaper. Uh, but thank you, thank you, Cheat Star, for saying that. Brian, is it is it always smart to get the Amex Blue Business Plus if you're even going to get the personal cards, just in case you want to cancel your personal? Hmm. What do you say? I think it's a good card. Um, I'll be honest with you. The zero interest for the year is great. Buying your stuff at two points everything it's not bad it's, it's a solid card you don't pay an annual fee you don't use it you don't lose it simple yeah i don't have any issues with it you know even if you're gonna get oh my god <laughs> again again I thought keith? You left. <laughs> yeah, what, the, what are you doing keith <laughs> we thought the amex hater is gone oh my god <laughs> you are hilarious, hilarious. John. John's gonna hit him up real quick. I love the BP. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. I appreciate you every it's time. It's like they're having a boxing match on the on the messages, you know. Pop, 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 pop. We're gonna need Let credit card boxing. Going. That's what. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> would you box if we did a boxing event? Would you find someone? Would I what? Would you do like a boxing event if if we organize one? All the credit card Hell creators. Yeah. You'd fight somebody. Right? I'd do it. Who would you Who would you want to fight in the credit space if you uh, had a chance? I can't say. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Ooh, oh, okay. no. Fair enough. I will I'll, I'll tell if you tell. And I'll even go first. Well, I mean, I don't know if I want to fight them because I hate them. I just, no, no, I think right. it would be a fair would, matchup. It would be, funny. <laughs> it would be funny in all fairness. But uh -huh. um, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say. Well, the problem is, I would love to fight Calvi, my best friend. But. <laughs> Wait, Gerg is cliffhanger. It's you, Ed. <laughs> he wants to fight. He said he can't. He can't say it because we're face to face. That's why. No, I would love to fight Calvi, but I think I would like utterly destroy him. I'm sorry to say. 
I would like to fight Eric Gal. I think he'd be a good match. We're pretty similar in heights. Uh, sorry, Calvi. Well, Calvi's kind of shifty, though. He, he'll, like, figure out how to, like, put metal in his friggin' hands and he'll, like, knock me out. But Eric Gal, I think it would be, fa- it'd be a fair fight. I think it would be fair. I want to fight Eric Gal. Let him know. Go to his channel. Um, I'm going to fight. I have two people. Okay. Brian Jung. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's only right. because I can't do those asteroids and special <laughs> effects he does in his videos. You know, asteroids. so I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna see like his face as a video. I'm just gonna punch it. <laughs> and, then, and then, as weird as it's gonna sound, well, there's two now. I gotta throw in this other one. Three? Oh my I god! Got, yes. And I like I I actually subscribe, but the guy that on Sunday nights puts his videos. Um, that he has like a ticker on the side and he'll talk about Wendy's food in addition to whatever the credit card news is for the week. Cal Barn? No, 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 no. He's an older white guy. Who the hell streams? On it's Sunday? only on Sundays. It's 15 Why? minutes. Really? Yes. Oh, Brandon Boyd? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Wait, this... I, you know. What the hell? I I've never seen him before. He pisses me off when he starts talking about, like, Chick-fil-A. I just want to hit him for Chick-fil-A. And then, can't see the violent. last guy is Ben Hedges because what? of that new background. What the uh... fuck? I used to like him when he was in the log cabin with the giant ass <laughs> mic right here. And he'd be like, well, <laughs> blimey, mate. You know, it's like... <laughs> So oh. I want to get back at him for that because that New York skyscraper crap in the background isn't making it for me. Wow. You don't That's think it. he's really in a penthouse? Come on. I don't know that. where he is, but he's from New York. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. yeah he lives upstate. He has his house upstate. He's got a cabin up there. Oh, there's man. There's mad people talking crap here about Luke wanting to fight Luke. That Luke is mad. What? I can't wait, wait. say that word on live. What? Where do you see that? You heard that comment? No. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I I would like to do some jujitsu with Luke though. I know he's got some, some experience. Oh, look at Luke. Ben Hedges is 106 pounds. <laughs> what this is oh god. Watch this guy. Ben, Ben, I want you on the show. All right. I appreciate you. All right. We don't it's gonna get clipped and sent to him. Ben, it's all in good fun. All right. <laughs> Sen, he's gonna hate us on my own. Oh God! No, I don't care. I'm gonna throw this one last dig, and I know he's gonna take me off his Discord or whatever, and I don't care. The other reason about Brian Jung because he threw that jab at that poor kid that no longer does videos. Oh, Chandler Vernon. Yeah, he's kind of MIA. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes! So it's one of those. Come at me, bro. Come <laughs> bring <laughs> bring your asteroids and your three special <laughs> effects. <laughs> he's gonna hit you with like lightning bolts. I'm and gonna stuff. do some Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'll I'll raise it. I have someone else that I want to fight. Who? I have someone else. There's a guy that I've been disagreeing with on YouTube for about a year now on his choice of cards. His uh, you know, everything about him is is a horrible person. We disagree on everything. It's CJ, obviously. Mr. Rose Gold himself. Are you, you know kidding? What? <sighs> I've been training. All right. So been training. doing a gang fight like some old school Timberlanding him because of his role goal, we can't do that. I mean, I think what we could probably do is like if we're going like that, let's go prison style, where we have the like a like you know how they used to do the bar of soap in the sock. We'll just do the class of gold in a sock. Bet. I think that'd be good. Yo, you know what? That's S- send that to send that to CJ. Whoever's watched this, clip that up a sense. I want him to know. <laughs> I'm ready to challenge him. I don't care well, how Jack is. To, to, to that move. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Chris V, how you doing? Hey, my brother. Hola, Chris mi gente. What's going on? Uh, off the rails. <laughs> I knew this was, yeah, this was, I knew this was going to happen. See, Jesse, even a YouTube, Rose Gold, no thanks. Yo, bro, the best feeling I had for Valentine's was cutting on my wife's Rose Gold card. <laughs> best feeling ever. <laughs> That's great. Oh. Uh, Would you oh, rather Lord. have a good steak or good ribs? Would you rather have a good steak or good ribs? Huh. Uh, I haven't had them. I haven't had ribs in a long time. I like the fall off the bone ribs. I don't want to fight. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, but a good steak. Give me a good filet mignon. Yeah. Nine ounce. I don't like I've been, steak. I'll tell you what. I've been trying to go find some crazy deals on Sax on Fifth because they sell like Chicago steaks or something. Have like these really crazy filet mignons on Sax on Fifth. On Sax? Yeah. But not for the, you can't use the the. Your yeah. platinum, you can use the fifty bucks from flat. Really? Yeah, it's all online. You just you, you pay for it, but it's okay. but the cheapest one they have is steak burgers for a hundred dollars. So you get it half off. I'm not willing to pay the extra fifty for the steak burgers. It's only eight of them too. I just get more Jenny O for half off. Anyway, yo, look at Phil's <laughs> Phil thing. Wait, wait. Luke said we're not doing. We're doing this Greek style. <laughs> What's that? I, I, <laughs> some <laughs> is someone call. <laughs> Someone call Constantinos. Yo, <laughs> get Constantinos in here. I need to. I need to. I need some clarity here. I oh thought that's God. just. I thought you just do Greek lightning. I thought that's all they do. That is oh, look at this. Chad says sorry. CJ is jacked. I'm gonna have to put my money up. Ooh. Hey man, you know what? We've been. I think I could do more pull ups than him. I think we were testing our strengths. I think I could beat him. Bluffs. I might be more Jack than CJ. You might be surprised. I might be. You know what it is, Anthony? You hide it under your shirt. That's what it is. CJ's just a little bit broader, but <laughs> nonetheless, you move like a ninja, bro. Don't even worry about that. Thanks. The sleeper build. No, no, that's it. You know? <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, CJ's really Who has better state? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. So Gallagher's is good. Peter Luger's. I've never been to Peter Luger's. It's just way out there. Like that's just, you know, next level. But if you were doing chains, Ruth Chris is okay. Oh, Morton's I like. I, I. You know what? We actually got sent this the other day from like a relative. It was um, Omaha steaks, and that was really good. I was oh, Omaha steaks are good. No, no, one hundred percent. Yeah. Hmm. I could do one pull. Phil said I could do one pull up, but I got that handsome status. So I'm good. He's over six, <laughs> over six foot. He's way too handsome. Yeah, it really doesn't matter how strong you are. If you're handsome, you're good. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yo, bro. That's how I've lived this long. <laughs> Constantinos is a guy who knows a guy. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Don't he has that accent that even if he can't fight, you know, you think he fights just because. He like I kill you. I kill you. <laughs> Silence you I kill you. You call my Amex, I kill you. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Showing like the, the holes in his platinum oh, the part. Holes in his thing. <laughs> this is this is gonna be you. No, no points for you. Yeah. Um Cats is deli, I've been. Bro, those sandwiches are like that. Really? Oh my god. Yeah, hmm. you can feed the family with the cold cuts they put in one of the sandwiches. Huh. Uh oh, uh oh, is there some type of pull up punch? <laughs> is there some type of pull up? <laughs> Muscles won't win fights. I got Ben versus all y'all. He's, oh God. <laughs> Luke, Luke, you don't know what he knows, He's man. Wiry. He's wiry. <laughs> you know what? Ben Hedges, he might be the type of guy to be like, Luke might laugh at this, but he might be a black belt in Taekwondo and he'll just do a roundhouse. You know, he might be roundhousing people all day long. You, you guys know. forget, you're young, Anthony, but Bruce Lee. When he fought Chuck Norris. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Don Kim knows. Ben is a sure fool. Master in Chinese. He knows. <laughs> he knows that, man. Uh, oh, Constantino's always packing heat, too. <laughs> you know he definitely does. Yeah. I think he talked about it, actually, on the live stream. I think he in, like, Maryland or wherever he's at. He's like, I'm always packed. Yeah, maybe I'm lying, but I thought he said that. <laughs> I'm still scary right there. <laughs> Oh Lord, cats is oh. expensive but good quality. It's true, that serious. You can't beat the pastrami sandwiches, all that stuff. It's just next level ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Calby must have heard you call. Calby, I'm gonna tell you right now before Anthony says a word. I'm gonna just cut <laughs> to the chase here, Calby. And I quote: Anthony said, "If there's one guy that I want to kick, is that." Calvin, he thinks he's a badass, but I got his number. I'm on. And then he just, we had to keep beeping it. 
So I'm just telling you right now, it was mad trash talk. <laughs> it's great that I'm going to see him in uh, not so like a week. So that's great. Kelby, we were trying to figure out a boxing event. So I'm wondering if you want to do it with me, if you want to fight me for the boxing event. He says I'm out at the moment, so I can't hear what everyone's saying. Uh -huh. Oh, good to know. See that? Good. <laughs> Yo, but look what, look what pride, man. No one's calling out the beast, RJ. That's true. That's very true. He looks like he knows some stuff. Yeah, but here's the thing. RJ also looks like he'd have to think about it a few times before he threw a punch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> If I have to pay an annual fee, I may not want to hit you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <the fact. laughs> That's true. Also, we would never be able to get him to an event anyway because he literally stays he in that. He says it himself. <laughs> he, st he stays in that one room. Yes, RJ never goes outside. He, he told RJ. me the other day, I don't look at anybody's videos. I said, yo, thanks for telling me, bro. He does it. No, he's he is totally in that room, in, the, in those screens, pumping it's out like content. Matt in his bunker. He and Matt should get along just fine. <laughs> just in one room, back to back, not talking to each other. It'd be great. <laughs> RJ would step aside, hit a bat, hit a Batman like utility button. Yeah, I could see that. Just ding, and eject them out of out of his, right out of his Rolex, right? <laughs> yeah. Justin, oh, five spot final cover. Appreciate you, Justin from Points and Bound versus Spencer Johnson. Who's who's Justin from Points and Bound? That is. Never, never heard of him. But Spencer Johnson, I saw Luke say it earlier. I can't go back up. But Spencer, yeah, Spencer Johnson, six foot six. Nobody wants to fight. Maybe Daniel Bowen will be good because they're about the same height. But uh oh, RJ, <laughs> RJ can't find us tight ass. Just tight ass shirts too. Mm. Yo, you know who I could fight? I just realized in my age category, maybe he's younger than me. I'm guessing he is. Who? Proud money guy. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about him. We'll fight in the dark because he has no oh. light. He has oh. no light in the background. <laughs> but wow. Shadow boxing. How old is he? How old is Proud Money? Do you know? Dude, I wonder. His real first name because he said this so fast in the beginning. All I hear is Jessica. Isn't it Adam? Isn't it Adam? For I haven't. I actually never watched him before. I'm not sure. Uh, that would be funny. Calvi question. And did you sell your car so you could finally live in a house? No, we went through this at the beginning. I rented this Airbnb for a day because I had to be here. Yeah, I, we, we went through it. <laughs> Spencer Johnson was the points guy. <laughs> points guy got too much money, man. I think oh, he's got security. Picture this. Stan versus Sebi in a cage match. <laughs> no, that's not fair. You what? know why? When we went to Vegas, we met up with, with Seb. He was there. I didn't talk to him. I just showed him something. But he, we didn't realize he's like 6'3". He's like 6'2", 6'3". He's gigantic. He's huge. And Stan's like, I think, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, but a cage match, Stan could climb up the cage <laughs> and frog splash off. Frog splash. <laughs> frog splash. <laughs> frog splash. Oh, my God. Like a Hardy Boy or something. Like one of the Hardys. <laughs> Matt Hardy Stan. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you can feel more. Sebi, very handsome. <laughs> yeah, he's very handsome. Yeah, he's over. He's well over six foot. He's huge. But I heard homie had like a crew with him that day. <laughs> Not him? Now, Not Sebi him. had people with him. I think he had a couple people. <laughs> Stan's rushing the cage. <laughs> oh. Oh, Proud Money is uh, an Ohio boy. I'd see it. Yeah, those Ohio people are crazy. Luke and, and, and Calby. That's right. Calby's an Ohio boy, too. I can't mess with Matt, that. Thank you. So it's Adam Jessica. Okay. That's why I never could understand. He says it so fast. I never knew his name. Thank you. This is too funny. Yo, Who's that's funny. Look at MR. MR. That, would, that be would be riveting. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> God. He'll choke. Sebi has an entourage. I can see Sebi. Yo. Yeah, yeah, I could see him. He's yeah, he was he's crazy. He's absolutely insane. That's it. When we go to, to New Orleans, I'm gonna have my Boricua Posse with me. Mm. I'm gonna have Luke now that he's Puerto Rican. Hey, that's it. There I'm you gonna go. get each of them a Discover Puerto Rico card, you know, like the 
the, the one that I have that's actually the flag of Puerto Rico. It's just <laughs> adding them on as authorized users. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. On this uh, on this topic, Anthony, did you sell your car? We actually had a question from Keith for Joe right here. And whatever, we already know we know who Keith is. Um, Keith S asks, Joe, would you charge your Tesla at a hotel if you weren't a guest at that hotel? Well, hmm. Keith. I don't know anybody that would do that because that's, I don't know if that's considered stealing, allegedly, you know, but I wouldn't feel comfortable. However, I understand if someone lives in a home where there's no electricity, then you could. Could <laughs> that's a good point. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I would never do this, but that's a good point. I would never do that. That's a good point. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. That's a great point. I wouldn't do it though. <laughs> hey man, get get make hay while the sun's shining, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Let's settle this whole thing. Oh, let's settle it. Uh credit card YouTubers boxing might be the most uninteresting <laughs> uninterested thing in the world. It says it would stand. Wow. <laughs> that's, Yo, that's racist. Just because of Puerto Rican doesn't mean we all carry knives. <laughs> My wife does. Oh my God, Jesus! <laughs> We're from New York, so we'll Luke, just sue him. Classic, Luke. Luke, that was freaking priceless, bro. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yo, and then Cesar was in the military, so he knows how to do it quick. Like, what spot to get you, and you're done. He talked about it on the stream. He was like head of a gang or something in Puerto Rico. He said he didn't want to talk further, but he said no, that because he's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rico this big. There'll be another 15 minutes. Oh, God. Chad says, Chad says, I'd rock a Ola Gente shirt, but I'm not sure how bad I'd look with the Mickey Mouse hat. <laughs> well, oh, then, oh, you'd, then, oh, yo, then you you'd be Let Speedy Gonzalez. You. Chad, you'd look freaking adorable. And they actually have some Mickey Puerto Rico shirts. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You Mickey can, worldwide. <laughs> so, you just put, put Ola Gente and Speedy Gonzalez, right? That's it. Well. That's it. Andale, andale. Yeah. <laughs> um, trying to see. That's funny. Oh, we were talking about Platinum Card. Ninja had a question from uh, Discord. He said, which team Amex Plaid version are you, Joe? Are you Morgan Stanley, okay. Schwab? See, I couldn't do Morgan Stanley because I think you needed an account, right, with them or something first? If you want to get it for free, but you don't, you just need, well, it seemed like Schwab, you need an account just to be able to get so I have card. a Schwab account, but I never opened, and I was going to open it, but then they said, you're not going to get the points. So what the hell am I going to do with, okay, get the credit, the, the, what is it, the money, dif the difference in cent per point, right? Is that the what you cash, cash out? The bill, yeah, to be able to cash out 1.1. Other than that, well, you know, what am I going to do? Pay another $700 for another card? No, I just canceled, I, I canceled my, my first one, and I got the Schwab. So, but then you still don't get the bonus, right? Well, I did because I got it years ago <laughs> before the language changed. A <laughs> little Thanks, bit of spice. Anthony. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I got I got a hundred cable on the oh. show. <laughs> but uh, no, it's worth it. I think Calby just did that. He just got it with no bonus, just because he wanted the optionality, like take your Amex points. So is that a product forward. change? No, you have to apply through Schwab. Yeah. Or more, okay. So not through Amex. You have to go through the Schwab part, right? Yeah. You just Schwab, Amex, Platinum, and right on their portal. Yeah. Okay. I think it's worth it because, like, you can't take your points. Like, how you, uh, well, you were telling me offline, you used your Chase points for something. Then you could do the same with your Amex points. Like, normally you then can just use you only get statement sick, credit. Right? Yeah. But even statement credit, but this, you take it in cash. You know, okay. we'll buy whatever you want. Um, or, or, yeah, Chad said, if you want to actually care about that, then just get the business checking for one cent per point if you have to do that. I have a business checking. So what does that do? Well, I, I think you need the business checking and the business platinum, if, unless I'm wrong. And then with the business platinum, you can you cash out your points at one cent per point. So, so same thing you did with okay, the gotcha. chase points. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is cool. You know, I okay. like that. And it's like no different anyway. Might as well, I think. So you get the same benefits fhr all that same deal. yeah yep yeah i haven't had the normal platinum in a while a couple of years maybe or a year i don't know um wait what else do we got here we got another wet bar. very nice 
Oh, damn, nice. <laughs> Keith also asks, when and where is your next big redemption? Uh-oh. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, well, I know what your next big redemption was, yeah, but uh, I guess for trips. Yeah, so my next redemption will come soon on a video. <laughs> so, but... Well worth it. <laughs> right, it'll that. be well worth it. Um, <laughs> but also for a trip. Um, part of it already I did with the hotel, the Hyatt in, in New Orleans. I already booked that for four nights. Um, but for my wife and I, we're not going away in the summer. Our anniversary is in July 25th, but I hate going anywhere at peak of summer. I just, I hate the heat like that. So maybe September sometime we're going to go, um, or October somewhere else. But I, that's when I just plan on draining a lot of the Amex points that I have. I'm over 700,000 Amex points. Jeez. <laughs> and before I to chase points, I was almost at six. And then I have 250 in Marriott, 250 in Hilton, and 200 in Wyndham. Hmm. So it's not bad. And 150 in United, and 200 in JetBlue. Jeez. That's a lot. But yeah, it's a lot. Wow. Yeah, I was close to 2.5 million points already. In 10 months. The cards crazy yeah it took you 10 months to do that yeah that's insane Ugh. but i haven't used them and the thing is i don't want to lose them either and that, like people say and i've heard a lot of guys say don't just sit let them sit there and it's true because you never know when you're going to get slammed if they change the, you know the rules or if they change whatever you don't want to be on the hook that, and you have them just sitting there and they're going to waste for what use them you know especially if they're referral points use them <laughs> Chad said, damn, Joe, you're the one who ain't leaving the cave with those all those points. <laughs> you're in the, you're in the cave. Yeah, you ain't traveling. When's the last time you traveled? You're in your bunker too, Joe. Look at that. What are you, what are you in a sauna right now with the wood paneling behind you? Damn, why are you coming at me there? <laughs> well, because you're inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I will. I will. Got to burn some points. Yeah, some points do expire. It's true. Actually, there I was go. able to use for the first time for a car rental I'm doing next month with Hertz. Um, I oh, got really? two, two days free with Hertz because of because I was using it a lot more last year. Nice. So I just told them, what the hell, just get it, you know, because the cars in the spring right around Easter, they tend to go up a lot in Florida, the car rental prices. Oh. So, you know, but that's where the Amex Platinum comes in. That's why I won't get rid of it either is you can pay for a mint size and then you'll get whatever the hell you want on the lot yeah so that's true that's what i'm gonna do yeah i was thinking this as i was saying <laughs> joe's rocking the paneling with the 70 Yo, Chad, you, ain't even, you ain't even lying kid you understand this house is from 1919 seriously really yeah whoa so we bought it in 2000 and we renovated everything from upstairs to the top floors and the outside but the basement has always remained like this. I never came down literally until I started doing this two months ago. Wow. It was like storage. Huh. And then I said, wait a minute. I hate taking down the lights, the this, the that. Mm. You know, it's just a lot of crap. Look, I'm going to see if I can flip it around so I can show you I love that. my oh. setup. But look at all the. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have a light? Oh, that's right. You do have a light. Wow. I have lights. I have my cameras. I have more lights. I have the rigs. I have it all. So, wow. We, you know, so I figured this is just easier because now I could just come downstairs and and I'm ready to roll. Before it was that's like right. I had to make sure the dog was upstairs with me. Mm -hmm. I have so many videos with Harley in the back of me on the sofa because he always wanted to be where I was. You know? That's why that's why I like my mobile office because, like, again, I don't have any distractions. You know, no noise, anything. No, hundred percent. Yo, Chad is cutting <laughs> ass on me. Avocado green appliances. That is so true. I literally just, uh, well, a few months ago, I helped someone buy a house that was with avocado green, wide ovens. You know, <laughs> that <laughs> just like that. So, do any of you guys watch, um, at any point over the years, the Food Network channel? 
I'm not sure. Or oh, Rachel Ray on the Food Network, oh. right? So she has a stove and an oven called Chambers. Hmm. It has three burners and a big burner that you can make soup and rice in and whatever. When we moved in here, that's what's in, that's what's in our kitchen. That that's oven and stove is from 1953. That's what we still use. It weighs really? 1,500 pounds. Oh, it's all porcelain, mm -hmm. and and it has like a broiler and all this other crap, but it's worth fifteen thousand dollars. Wow, it's an antique. So huh. we never got rid of it. We actually redid the kitchen built around it because mm. it's the white por porcelain and then a stainless steel top. You can't find it. Oh, wow. It. Yeah. yeah. So do you, do you have a porcelain tubs too that came with the house or not? We did and we gutted all that because they were, they were in bad shape. So we yeah. just redid the whole thing. But we're mm -hmm. doing a whole house in here in Jersey. It's just for like buying a new house. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I see all those houses now in South Carolina, a lot of them. A lot of old, old, old houses. Um, as I criticize Joe, I'm sitting on 500k MR, 400 UR, 150 JetBlue, 200 Delta, and 80k Hyatt. So what the hell do I know? Phil Mo, such Yo, a hypocrite. We got to hang out. We got to go on vacation together. <laughs> Everybody's a hypocrite. Yep. Three, three fingers point back. You already point the finger. Good point. Look at, <laughs> look at pride. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I love this every now and again. I feel like there's no like... reason to this. None. No. Nah. None. Stuff built like that last, then lasts forever. Stuff made today is made out of balsa wood. <laughs> Yo, John, let me tell you, when we moved here, because like Anthony, my hair was everything, I couldn't blow my, <laughs> dry my hair, I swear to God, <laughs> and like do something in the kitchen because it would blow out the fuse. So we had to redo the whole electrical. We had something called knobbing tube which was mm. a one line it looked like like this that the light bulb would go to like that was the uh -huh. kind of lighting very li we had like 50 amps i think so i had to increase mm. the panel is it was hell you know but when you get an old house that's what you get did you have um an oil uh in no, the basement thank God. Or, no really actually you know what's funny the furnace here the 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 boiler is We've been here 24 years, and when we got here, they told us it was 15 years old and it's still running. Ooh, wow. So you can't make it like that no more. It's like cast iron, whatever the hell. Jeez. You know. um, <laughs> so far, bunkers, box, and cage. <laughs> Stand yeah, <credit> old. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, credit cards are great. Yeah. Credit cards are great. <laughs> oh, that's oh so my funny. God. You guys are the best. This is hilarious. I'm shocked that you guys hung in this long. I know, right? That's great. Uh, actually, we have. Do we have just one more question from the Discord? I think you. Yeah. Have, did you hit one? I think this is the oh, last yeah. one. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. Yep. Uh, Sean. What's going on, Sean? Credit. He's always, he's everywhere. I love him. He's uh, with Pop and Joe becoming more of a thing. What is your What is your next or new strategy with other banks or cards to maximize rewards for your? intended spend well everybody knows my answer i think at this point who uh, has watched any video recently it's basically ink train baby the ink, ink man <laughs> <laughs> i'm the ink man now so that's it <laughs> i'm i ran all through all, all those already so yeah i was looking at wells and actually before we went on live um i was asking anthony about the built card to see if i could put my homeowners association fees and stuff because I finally, uh, my grazing is done. Um, <laughs> Tesla already hit up my credit report yesterday. So I don't have to worry about that. And I got to see what my next move. I was hoping it would be Wells. But for every, it's funny. And I know it's just this space that we're in. Everybody has an opinion and I get it. For every positive review on it, there's one that's negative. <laughs> it's just... It's ironic, you know, or when people are saying that the regular autograph might be better than the journey just in terms of the annual fee or whatever. I, so I don't know, but I need to find some other space to go to. The only space that I don't think works for me or will ever work for me is Bank of America. Hmm. I don't have an, I don't have a savings or checking with them. And that's where their strength is, where those cards, you get better multipliers if you have accounts with them. 
I don't yeah. have that. So I don't see the point with that. Again, Capital One's never going to look at me. So Cap, I didn't even include Capital One in that. Unless it's Citibank. I might do the city premiere. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the strata coming soon. <laughs> oh, my God. Coming yeah. Soon. Yeah, I wonder if... I think that's why it was such like a hype the thing with the Wells Fargo because it's like for the first time and in, in, I think it's forever Wells Fargo joining the major I guess what you would call the points on mile space with these redemptions and whatnot um, at least in a in a more effective way. I wonder if Bank of America will ever do that. I don't know. When I so I met with them and I <laughs> I, I got to record that video. <laughs> hey, how did but, you meet with all of these executives? This is crazy. I I. I go in, I'm going to be honest with you, I share it here. I go in and I just ask to speak to the manager or supervisor, whoever's there. Yeah. I tell them exactly why I'm there. I want to see how they work with the community. That's my first hello to them and what I want to do with the information that they give me. You hmm. know, so when I went to Bank of America, their push is going to be more community banking. Hmm. And the branch I went to not only had the regular branch tellers and stuff, but it also had investment banking literally right there. It had a whole bunch of stuff going on and hmm. they're actually doing events in the, in the area. Wow. So you'll see when I post it, it was good. Cause I got two people. I actually got a VP. Wait a minute. I'm going to show you right now. I have all my credit, my cards here. Uh oh. Yep. Daniel Montalvo, oh, no. who is for the VP for Mer Merrill Lynch. Oh, well. Huh. So, because I didn't know Merrill Lynch was part of Bank of America. Oh, I didn't know that either. Huh. Did not know that. Hmm. So, you know, so I have him and then I met the uh, other branch manager there at the same time. So I did that on the same day that I did the city one. Hmm. Um and city, my city video comes out tomorrow at six o'clock Eastern mm. time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's too bad we can't do it with Amex, right? We can't walk into an Amex. No, and, and <laughs> even when I interviewed, you know, I, it wasn't even an interview. I got spoke to the person because they were kind enough on the phone. But it depends yeah. on who you get on the phone. You yeah. Know what I mean? So very true. Actually, Pride was saying, <clears throat> "Want to be honest? I'm a truck driver, so I just have the video playing, and then I click text to talk driver from Colorado to California." Ooh, jeez. Gangsta. Ooh, man. That's got to be tough. At least this might help. I, I love watching streams or podcasts on long drives, but that's crazy. Uh, drive. Jesse from YouTube Experiment, you will have an answer tomorrow. I this? Promise you. On this question, if they bring back travel protections, they might kill it. You have an answer for this? I have an oh, answer for you tomorrow. Go subscribe. I mean, 44 people, 45 people. <laughs> no, I have a thousand now because I'm a Cowboys fan. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, Mady, can I get twice the welcome bonus of the business gold card if apply once with an EIN and once with my SSN? Good question. So, I mean, we know this is true on the inks. I don't know if I heard anyone talk about it on Amex. On Amex? I've never. Inks all the time. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Have it. you ever seen anybody else on any other channels with it? I don't no, think so. Right? It'd be worth a try. I mean, you could at least go through the application if the pop-up window comes up. You know, you'll know, right? I don't think there's ever a time where you don't get the pop-up window. Like, you may not be eligible, or you're not eligible for this, and then you don't get the wall. I feel like if that doesn't come up, you 100% get the get the bonus. So it's I mean, the try. only thing you run the risk is running your personal credit. Well, well, if you don't go through the application, then no, 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 right, right. But, but do they you, even do that for the? See, I never had a problem with the with the business sides of the card, so I, I never came up on that. But hmm. that's a good question. It'd be worth a try. I might even try it on a. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe a business goal down the line again if I want that's to like, cool. cancel you or something. Who knows? Filmo said they have no lifetime language offers on the business gold. So I think you could have like more than you can have two. Okay. Yeah. That's uh yeah. Hmm. Chad Penny Cuff has took me took me years to get Bank of America Spirit issued card because I got no relationship with them. 
years. I had escalated all the way up to the ladder, up the ladder at Spirit as well. Huh. Wow. Well, Bank of America is tough. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 to apply for them, even if you try to do some of their uh, pre qualification stuff, it, it's, they're not easy. Hmm. City going to surprise us all dead? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this was. Bill says he has two blue business plus cards with social security. So, yeah, so maybe that carries over to the gold and the plat. Yeah, but did you get the bonus on them? That's what I wonder. Like, whatever it is, like a 15K you get on BPPs. I wonder. Like, imagine 250K on the business plat, like if you have enough spend. And then you get another 250k. Like, oh my god, that would be Keith. Keith would be the one that we'd have to do to seriously. <laughs> Keith yep. would have to be the one to pull that trigger. Yep, absolutely. Bank of America, just open up the hundred thousand dollar retirement account first, then apply for cards. No problem. <laughs> yep, that's easy. Easy enough. Oh, look, so said, yep. One bone. Oh, wow. And you got the 75k. Wow, that's nice. pretty cool. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So maybe they're not as. Maybe it's because nobody talks about it. Maybe that's like an underground thing still. You know, <laughs> just apply for multiple. So we screwed up everybody by talking all this trash about Amex and now we're paying for it, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. This is, this is fun. You know what's weird? I didn't know you can't go all the way back in StreamYard, like to the original no? comments. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it looks like I can only go so far. Are you on the laptop? Yeah. I mean, iPad, you know. I wonder, again, because I'm on the laptop and I'm able to mm. scroll back myself. I'm telling you right now as I'm doing this, Anthony, I'm taking it back. <sighs> I'll tell you. Oh, God. Yeah, like I went back over an hour. Interesting. Are you able to do that? Uh, well, even Chad says streamer has a limit of how many comments, huh? I wonder. I don't know, Anthony. Right now, I am literally at 152. <laughs> literally, wow, where it oh. says skyline. Uh, I have all that. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. I can go back decently. For them, I think it's just, I'm wondering if it could be just remember the operating system with certain things that the functions may not be there for, for it all. Yeah, I think so. You know, so. Nifty Ninja said 100K in retirement isn't really that difficult. That should be a minimum goal before you're 30, just my two cents. I think I think Kevin O'Leary's goal is 33. He says 100K by 33 is what you should be working towards. Yeah, I could see that. But, you know, <clears throat> I worked for the city of New York and it wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pride, were you either awkward when you first started doing your channel? Oh, were either of you awkward when you first started doing your channel? I've always wanted to do one, but I always feel like I'd be awkward. <laughs> Go ahead, Anthony. How long have you been doing this, puppy? Uh, next month will be two years. Oh, wow. Yeah, April 4th. Um, oh, shit. It's only in a couple of weeks. Okay. It's funny. You can actually you can just go back to my first video ever. Um, just just go by oldest and uh, was talking about like Tesla and something like that. But um, no, I mean, and, and if you look at that, that was my third reporting, but it was very similar to the first one where I messed up because like I had my uh, microphone in, but it was connected to the phone. But lo and behold, it wasn't actually connected to the phone at all. It, for some reason, it just wasn't. It was out or something. And it uh, the wind was blowing in the vent. And it, the, the phone picked that up. So it's just like, welcome, welcome back. I put the extra cup. <laughs> you know, so it's just, it's just loud. It's really annoying. So, but I, I was never really awkward. I just had no energy. That was it. Like I realized to, to be able to project on camera for, the, I guess, a personality to shine through or even to talk hot, loud enough, you had to up your energy by at least like double. You had to double it and actually scream <laughs> at, the, at the camera because for me, it just didn't come through. At first, it was like, well, thank you for, you know, being here, um, you know, and let's talk about the Amex Platinum card because it was like that kind of energy. But now it's like, this is my Amex Platinum card. You know, <laughs> you kind of get a little crazier, um, but you have fun with it too. 
it, it's yeah. not it's not easy. I remember the first one I did was the Sunday Super Bowl Sunday last year. And I did it with the iPhone that I had, the iPhone 13 at the time. I had no mic. I had just the lights from my family room. I had this propped up on a book. And I thought I was the coolest shit ever. And it was trash. <laughs> and then I started learning how to use it. Oh, no, the worst thing was this. So for those of you that don't know, you can't record on YouTube this way. It has to be the long way, oh, yeah. right? So what happens if you're looking here in the middle, you look cockeyed because the camera's over here yeah. on the side. So I had to put a piece of paper on my phone to know where to focus at. <laughs> and then when I finally got a camera that one of my students sent me the money to get a camera because he felt bad because he said I look cockeyed. That's right. <laughs> I didn't. I, I was plugging the mic into the wrong hole. So for like 10 videos, I never realized that. It was an echo and it was because I was using the mic on the Sony camera and uh, I was talking this far. Huh. And I said, holy crap, all this time I've been doing it wrong. So I always had to use the edit, the 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 filters for on CapCut to clean up the, the noise reduction yeah. sound. Mm -hmm. Now I don't even have to do any of that. Yeah. So you know that so you learn. It took, I mean, I have over a hundred videos now up. And you just get more comfortable. I've always been comfortable talking in front of people, but you learn like this, like you said, you have to be up for it. You just have to kind of kick yourself into another gear. I can tell on days when I look back that I felt like crap because I was sick or not really mm. up for it. And I made a video. It was whack. Yeah. Yeah. I get I guess also there was a, I, I have recorded videos like 10 years ago, which I have on a separate channel. Very few of them. But I remember at that time, even then, it was like, it was like, all right. But it was, I, I think the hardest part is just you feel like you need to say something. But in doing that, you actually become really good at conversations. Like if you could talk to a camera, uh, especially at the beginning when you have no script or anything like that. But if you could talk to a camera, you usually can talk to anybody like out, I don't know, at events and stuff like that. So it's really good practice just for life. So like if you're doing the truck driving, uh, Brian, and, and you're out there for you know four hours and then you break, I would just set up the camera like on a like a like almost like a dash camera. You put it on the windshield, and just uh, just look straight and just just talk to the camera. Eventually, it becomes second nature where you just start thinking about thoughts, and then eventually those thoughts will be more formulated into like one topic. And just doing that alone, don't even upload to YouTube or anything. You just become just a better speaker, I think. At least. It was for me. And you just get the volume doing up. That's a good know. idea the way you said that, though, for him. Because it's like the guys that do car reviews, right, yeah. on YouTube, that they have all these cameras on the glass, on the mm -hmm. sunroof or whatever the hell, right? Yeah. And they're talking and engaged. And I get that. So I think that's a great way, especially if you are driving and doing that for that long. Absolutely. Yeah. I also think I'm looking at Matt's comments here. The reality is, Matt, Things are going to change even from what device you use. I remember when I finally upgraded my phone camera before I got the other camera, I couldn't see myself by you. So the back camera was better than the front, right? So I bought this thing on Amazon where it was like a mirror that then you could <laughs> see yourself. And I had like 5,000 contraptions. And then when I finally bought this Sony, that all I could do is swing out the back, the the the, the you know window behind it, and now mm -hmm. I can see myself and the red light is on. It's easy. Yeah. You know, like right now, this is through my Mac. And I think the quality is pretty decent for a Mac cap for a camera that came with the MacBook. But, yeah. you know, it's the, the lighting is huge. Mm. Remember when we did our videos in the car in December and it was getting dark. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was that's using right. the lights on the on the sun visors. To lighten up the car because it was already yes. dark. Mm hmm. Lighting is huge. Right now, check this out, Matt. If I shut this off and I shut this off. Oh, wow. That's horrible. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> right. So that's why, you know, and then that's why I bought like the light in the back that says live on air and things like that, just to add depth behind you because yeah. you need something. Yeah, and then you feel more comfortable, and once you feel more comfortable, bro, you can go on forever doing this. Yeah, I, I think it's a good. I think it's a good like 
thing to think about is like, how do you get good at anything? You know, usually when you start out, you're just starting off with something simple, an idea. And then obviously, as you do more, you broaden your awareness. And then once you broaden your awareness, then you start adding things. Like at the beginning, I had no idea, like you said, audio or lighting. I was just outside with the sun. It, but as you grow and like that part of just filming becomes easy, then you're like, now I can move on to the audio. Okay, that's done. Now I can move on to better video. Once that's it, now I can move on to better editing. So it's like you, you kind of learn as you get better at, at anything. When you start at the gym for the first time, what do you, what do? You do? Are you going, <laughs> doing every workout you could possibly do? Like, all right, I think I could do curls. Like I've seen that. I've seen, uh, you know, Richard Simmons or whatever it is, um, <laughs> you know, do some curls online. You, you do some curls and you're like, well, could I do that? Could I do that? And then you start doing everything. So I think it's like have the least amount of worries as possible at the beginning. So if it's Brian, just stick it up on the thing and just start talking, you know. And then eventually, if that's easy, you'll you'll learn everything uh, along the way. I'll be and you don't have to break the bank to do it. These lights that I when I turn the thing around, yeah, those lights on Amazon are twenty five dollars for these little square lights. The rig was a little bit more because I wanted something heavy duty that I could clip the laptop. So now the laptop is up, mm. right? And the camera is there. <laughs> and oh, that wow. light box I bought for $150 on Amazon. And I have other rigs and stuff here and the mics and you name it. And you know, the lighting in the background. So you just play with what you have yeah. and until it works that's it until you're comfortable and now at midnight the other night i came downstairs just to try some stuff out because i was bored and now i have a spot to do it it's easy you know what i mean so it's doable it's just you got to keep look how long did it take you to <laughs> it's gonna almost slip and said play with yourself but playing with Streamyard the last two days right you've been maneuvering it because it's new right yeah yeah this is all new and, mm -hmm. and and those are things that when you're trying um new things like anthony sent me well, opus how do you say it? is it opus yeah clips? opus clips yeah i was killing myself making uh so i was doing double the work doing a video and then pulling out my phone to do a short <laughs> and then anthony's like you're a da -da -da. use this <laughs> and it worked so those are the things you know and and the great thing about all of you guys here especially someone like anthony that Nobody, nobody's afraid of sharing or hide, you know, hide shit and says, no, no, it's me, you know, my secret or whatever the hell. Like, no, you share what works for you and what doesn't work. And then that's it. And then that's the way it should be, you know? So, um, it'll get better. It, it, trust me, man. It'll get better. The MacBooks, I'm just biased. Cause it's just easier. Everything I have is Apple or Mac related. So it's easier. Mm. Um, when you have chase cards, I think they're offering the break. I think Spencer, we said it before, did his thing where he bought a MacBook using chase points because they had like mm. better, a better multiply, like 1. Point something, 2.5 or 1.5 on yeah. these points. You know, or if you're in education, you get an education discount, different things like that. Yeah. You'll find, but you don't have to break the bank. I have lighting here that cost me 25 bucks. Uh, the lightsabers, I saw Chase Yokohama use one. I found it. It was like $30. Hmm. That's a dude that we can go get on now. Chase versus Sebi <laughs> versus Stan in and a cage match. A three a three-way cage match. Ooh. Uh yeah. Chase Chase will start throwing some poke at all of them. And you know, he's all about his poke. <laughs> the funniest video I ever saw him do was at a hotel in Hawaii. He was checking for like bugs. That's my favorite video. Yo, that yes. was classic. I loved every single stinking second of that damn thing. He was a G for that. He had the the uh, like the light that you can the see. Black light. Yeah, the black light. Yeah, where you can see, see what that. else he found on the bed. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was he wants to do more of that too. Wasn't that the worst said, hotel he said in Hawaii? Wasn't that what was the title? Like right? yeah, worst like, rated. Known as one of the worst. Mm -hmm. so. I think that's great. We need to see more of that. Uh, Chad also said, this community is awesome. It's completely different than Disney content creators who see each, see each other's competition. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, I almost think, like, obviously everybody says their community is the best, although Chad's saying that Disney people are kind of ravenous. They cut through. They cut through. Uh, yeah. But I think what's interesting about the credit community, I don't know if everyone thinks the same as me, but I just think, like, okay, who's the biggest person in our space? I'm not going to count Brian because he got to millions by crypto and a few other things. It was also credit cards, too. But 
who's the biggest person? Sebi, right? 250 or almost 300k i don't remember 250 to 300,000 subscribers you know graham stephan's got 4 million in general finance 5 million in general finance so our total addressable market is so small you know for the people that care about the points of miles game but there's also like so many did was it 300 300 million credit cards in, in 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 just america alone so i just view it as like the more people that are putting content out there the more people we can grow that total addressable market so this way if sevi grows to a million Maybe we can grow from four and three thousand to twenty, you know, hundred thousand, something like that, much easier. So I'm just like, the more people who are pushing stuff out there, the bigger we can grow because people don't know about this stuff. It's great. The other thing is, a lot of the guys that do it full time and have the professional editing and have all the other things, God bless them. This isn't full time, you know, for 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 me. Look, speaking, there's Stan. Stan came through. Stan, my understanding is you're getting your cage match <laughs> with Sebi and Chase Yokohama. My money's on you, Stan, because you're quick. All right? But you I'm missed gonna, the whole cage match, boxing match, fights. Stan, I'm going to let you know what happened, okay? He said Stan's get a frog splash on Sebi in New Orleans. That's what he said. I'm just I'm let you before you hear it from anyone else. <laughs> that's what he said. He said he's. He, I said Sevy is huge, but he said what well, Stan has the frog splash. So I was like, I can see that. I can. I can see a world with that. I'm apparently fighting CJ Eric Gal, and I'm demolishing Calvi. Um, you're fighting Proud Money. <laughs> I'm fighting Proud Money and Brian Jung because I can do his graphics and Ben Hedges because of that damn background. Other than that. We're good. Oh God, we're back to the cage match. Stan, if you're here for a moment, who do you want to fight in the <laughs> card community? <laughs> Jose, kudos from one East Harlem kid to another. Can't hang around. Got to run in the supermarket. Yo, nice. East Harlem, that's right. <laughs> Yo, I love East Harlem. That that is, that's my home. Was my home forever. Still is. Mm. You know, El Barrio is El Barrio. So, God bless. God. Did, he, did, did, did uh, Stan? I think he's. Stan left. Maybe he's thinking. Of, maybe about it. I think he's Stan thinking. thinking about who it. he wants to fight? That's what it is. He's thinking about it. I wonder. Yeah, we need. I wonder who Sledge would fight. Sledge. You know who I wouldn't fight? Who? <laughs> Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Joe! I would not fight her. <laughs> Diana, please. Yeah, I don't think she wants to fight you either. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh God, unreal. <laughs> oh God, Stan said, "Oh my God, a cage match! It will be like a bunch of dolphins fighting in an aquarium." <laughs> what the? But you notice he didn't say that he would kick his ass. He's saying dolphin to dolphin. Yeah, no. Stan doesn't play around. I know, yeah. He's he has a, a I don't know if candor is the right word, but meeting him in Vegas, he's got he's got a great presence about uh about him. Like if you can't mess with Stan, like that's the way I kind of no. view it. Josh Butler. See, I've never seen Stan from below the waist because it's always here. <laughs> but I'm guessing Stan has like these thick ass sides <laughs> and small gaps. <laughs> Actually, I could see that, yeah. Right? You know I'm, what I'm I don't saying? Remember. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, just friggin' squatting 500. I, I'm seeing Stan. I'm seeing Stan between us here. And please, nobody let this get back. Stan could kick Luke's. Oh, that's right. Oh, nobody's on Stan. No way. Yep. Yo, know, Luke's gonna be. If this gets back to him, we're gonna know. With this 31 people in here, we're gonna know yeah. one of you. Whoever the hell is there and runs their mouth, we're coming at you too. <laughs> I'm gonna get this Caesar to come and start shaking yes. people. <laughs> <laughs> no one messes with the creator fog. Hell yeah. Nope. Nobody. Love it. I love it. Only Calvi. We can make fun of Calvi. I like making fun of Calvi. has gotta go. Let's just yeah. be real. Let's let's just Calvi and CJ, you said both, right? Oh that yeah. Oh you yeah. Know, you can I'll... take them on in a handicap match and <laughs> you know what? You can. Yeah, let's do we should do a tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, oh my god. Fancy. The amazing dollar man. Oh, why, does why? It... why doesn't it say the amazing dollar man? 
I thought it was supposed to be amazing. Well, thank you for the, the 10 spot, man. Hola, mi gente. We need to get Anthony to 100K subs. Nice. Oh, you know what? B before anything, uh, I appreciate you, Dollar Man. That's a good point. Okay, so we have the 10K sub, right? I've been thinking about this. I didn't want to bring it up, but I figured it's a good time. The 10K subs is going to the most dangerous hotel. And when we get, you know, hopefully we get there, knock on wood, we'll go to the dangerous hotel. But I need to figure out a 25K goal, a 50K goal, a 100K goal, you know, something like that. And I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I think 25K, there was this place in like, I saw Ryan Trahan in a video. He was like an Airbnb out in Norway. It was like, and you have to trek to it, like in, in like a winter storm, like 20 minutes and you get to this cabin. I was like, that'd be cool. But I, what's worth it? I don't know. What do you guys think? 25K goal. If we're not even at 10K. Oh, oh, oh. I'll carry your bags. I'll be there. Be, oh, really? That's 100%. Cool. Man, meet I up like in the that, middle of... that Nordic cold winter crap. That's right? Me. Put the I fireplace that. on. That'd be so cool. I wonder. Or from NORAD. Maybe we'll do it. <laughs> we'll go live from NORAD. But thank you, Dollar Man. I appreciate you, man. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we ever get there. Guys, Who don't knows? forget to hit that like button. All right? Not so then hit that like button. Nicholas, come on now. The first thing you say, and you say that, 50 gold cash out at Mix points or state with credit. Come on. That's now that's a real challenge. I, I don't know if I can make that happen. Film hope 25k equals Ben Hedges cabin for <laughs> cage. The new one, right? The new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Going to going to his cabin. That would be funny to do. I would be willing to go up there if I'm ever up there to do a video in there. I would do that. I wonder if he would I meet know up where with he lived up there. I had a house upstate there, not too far from where he is in the Catskills. Oh, really? Yeah, we were. I was in um, about 20 minutes south of Monticello, so he's hmm. in the Catskills, from what he says in his things. So interesting, it's right there. Huh. <laughs> Two cross will book it via Vacasa points <laughs> with them. <laughs> He'll be there with his friggin' milk. <laughs> Yo, I saw his live this morning. It was good. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel like I've been in a live all day. It's like, you know, Groundhog Day. That's right. <laughs> Saturday, man. Dude, I has got the Saturdays, that Saturday mornings on lock. And Stan's been hitting up every like month. Yeah, so Saturdays. Stan does it every month, right? Yeah. Um, 25k Vinny Bubats 25k goal. Anthony has a limo driver show for Joe up to the pole for Astoria. We need, <laughs> I mean, I'll be Chauncey for a second, yeah, I can do that, but I need, I don't know, I need a grand. What do you have now, goal. Anthony? How many? Five, four point six. It's almost a five. We'll see. That's gonna take a long time, man. I don't know, even 10k is gonna take a long time. Oh. Is it, or does sometimes, like, I wonder how I see some people's channel that goes from, you know, a thousand to them six or seven. Like, I wonder how the hell, is it well, that one thing blew up or is it that? I think it's the, again, it's like the, 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 the total addressable market. So like a Daniel Braun who, who was like that. So I, when I started on YouTube, he was at 10K. Now he's over a hundred. And I think a big part of that is a lot of the, the videos he makes is very, I mean, more recently he's been doing like high level kind of redemption stuff, but you know, for a lot of time it was like one topic, very basic beginner level stuff, like what you should do with this card or this card. And I think when you have beginner videos, you have the biggest amount of people out there. I just tend to like gravitate towards maybe the more ridiculous stuff, like oh, I just booked Waldorf FNC. I mean, uh, uh, FHR, and I used like cashed out Schwab. So I think the amount of people. The videos that I've been making more recently seem a little bit more niche, even in this niche. Like I can make a bunch of like the top five credit cards you need right now, or uh, I don't know what you had to had to get your Amex points or max value. I could probably make them, and it would be good market. But I just don't care about it. I don't know. <laughs> but you see, but that's that's why I love you. I'm gonna say it right now because you just don't do it for a click. Mm. To me. I'm the same way. I don't want to be bored. I could, like I tell people all the time, I don't want to just read, yeah, this will give you four times. This will give you three times. Yeah, this is the greatest thing ever. No, I want real life shit that, that, that I could relate to, that I use, that I've done, that good, bad, or indifferent. You know, something 
that's related that I, even if it doesn't get to as many people, but is relatable to people. And I just think it's better that way. I don't like the the regular boring, you know, like I see guys in water your soil, right? Darnell. He's totally different from everybody else, even in the way he starts his stuff. Boom. You know, and, and it's like, but he's passionate about that. And you could tell when someone's passionate, it comes off through as being authentic. I I look back on some of my old videos, going back to like, Matt, when you're doing these things, and I say, damn, that shit was horrible. Hmm. I literally just read stuff off like if it was a script. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what I did? And it was the best thing I ever did. I have bought a teleprompter, hmm. a small portable one that you could put the camera. It was very nice, right? And I said, wait a minute, what am I doing? Then I'm going to be that guy like this, reading. And then, because you could see the eyes of people that do it. And that pisses me off. I'd never do it. I have my stupid ass notes, right? And and whatever the hell I put on notes on my phone to hmm. refer back as a bullet point, but not to memorize it. Hmm. And I think it just keeps us more authentic that way. And that's why I enjoy our content. Like Stan, like Luke, like there's certain people, Cesa, that do the stuff. And, and and Michael here, like you could tell those of us that just do it because we like to do it, not because we want to see how many we're going to get, how many people are going to watch our stuff. Yeah, that's great, but hmm. I want to have a good time while I'm doing it too. I don't want to be bored out of my ass. Yeah, it depends. Because it, it's like in a way, I know like if you're running a business and if you want to grow, at, at least for like, as I have, you have two types of videos. Like some of the videos I make where it's just like, uh, <laughs> when I put the lighter to the platinum car, my, my thumbnails and titles have been getting a little crazy lately. I get it. Um, <laughs> but I try to meet expectations at least. Um, but at least like those videos, like how to do this or how to do that, like those will grow for many, many years. The, some of the ones that are just quick one off things will, they'll go, they'll hit really hard fast. So it's like you have to have both. It's just yeah. tough to say. But it's like but I, I just keep me, delaying it. With the FHR, like I told you earlier. I hated FHR when I did my video and I realized it because I went about it wrong. Like when I was actually using the the, the credit and oh, when right. you did your video, I learned that's mm. my point. So oh, I see. that's what this should be for. Mm. You know, I, I see someone there, truth searchers. That's my man. Wait, where'd he go? Read what it says. It's pretty cool. That was nice oh, of you. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Truth searchers, paranormal investigators. If you guys are not subscribed and you are enjoying the paranormal, this is my man Gabe Matthews. He's uh, actually a paranormal investigator. He does Greenville ghost tours here in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. Hell yeah! Good to meet you. He's uh, and he said, make the videos you want to make. That's what I do. You're a huge inspiration. 10K sub soon. Yeah, we were we were hanging out the other night actually. We were That's talking so cool. YouTube and stuff. Um, absolutely. Um. <laughs> was that the one yeah <laughs> Tony would have been a 10k I wanted to buy the Versace slippers I did but friggin I, I looked at the size and it was like it said small which I said or maybe I could fit into it but then it was like it was like a woman's small or something it was like a 5 or something and I'm like an 11 I said it's not gonna work half your foot yeah <laughs> <laughs> I have to buy two of them for one foot yeah that's uh, <laughs> them together. that's right so I would have was going to though um, Michael says, I can't, like, I'm blind here sometimes. That's sorry. what all these lights do, it makes you blind. This? Is that the one? Oh, yeah. Yo, dude, one take. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. The I one I did, did that for once. Bank tomorrow is almost 19 minutes long, one take. Wow. That's really good. And the I, longest I, I think I did was 45 minutes on one take. That was your... That's the, hard. That was the way I, the video I found you actually the two point five million. That's hard to do. Yeah, I only have one video where it was one take. I I mess my words up sometimes, but I also going into it knowing I'm gonna cut it. You know, I don't know. I would love to like do a. I was thinking of this once. I was thinking, what if I live streamed, like the videos I don't care to do, like the like the, you know, uh, my, I don't know, my review of this card or something like like is it worth it? I was like. Well, I could still hit the, the 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 people like the search history people, whatever, for for years to come. But maybe I could live stream it, and that's why I don't have to worry about a video and make it a whole big thing. And editing, do one hundred percent because yeah. this is it. Correct. Yeah. You are one 
the best part about doing the live is that I don't have to edit a damn thing. Yes, yeah, you know, it, it, that's it. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and again, I don't have the capability of space rockets and asteroids coming off, you know, to show me how to buy crypto all on one shot. I don't know how to do that on my videos. That's right. So, you oh, know, I don't funny. have a team of people. My wife was laughing at me yesterday. It took me four hours yesterday just to edit the Citibank video. Yeah. Yeah. Because you still have to wait for it to upload, wait for it to download, wait for, and it, you know, then when you put it up to YouTube to create a studio, it, it's time consuming. And then you just have to wait. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I like Agreed. what John said here too. Oh, I just said, let's collab soon. Yeah, maybe. You guys want to see me and, and Gabe, the paranormal investigator on StreamYard? In a cemetery. <laughs> oh, we could, oh, we could do that. In a cemetery with a Ouija board. <laughs> I'd fly to South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. That's great. You know, he, you know, it's funny. He was actually one of my first people on the podcast. He was like the first three, I think, he was on. And we had a good time. People really loved the, the Yo, I would stuff. do that in a minute. Yeah, let's do it, Gabe. Um, John says, "Where? What? I promised this thing. Yeah, I promised that if I was going to try to do this thing, meaning YouTube, I would never copy someone else or regurgitate stuff. I said I would only talk about cars, experiences that I actually used or had. Very sledge esque, as well. Do you know what the problem is with that, though? And then we end up pigeonholing ourselves, John. <laughs> I only have." Like I've run the gamut on my cards. I can't apply for anything. I haven't applied, right? So at some point, you either got to repeat the cards you've done or see how you use them differently because the new thing hasn't come back yet. You know what I mean? Like, so that's the hard part when you only want to discuss and talk about the cards you don't have. A lot of other people will say, this is the greatest card ever or this is a great setup and they have no clue. And that's bothers me in this space. When you know... People are just reading stuff off a script, off a website, and they think it's cool. And, and I'm like, no, you could just look that crap up yourself. I don't need to re repeat it for you. Hmm. You know, give me something that showed you you actually did something. You know, how you used it or you got the wrong card even. Do that, but not just literally uh, on a separate window here, open up, you know, Chase and read off what the preferred gives me. I don't want to know that. Big deal. You know, it's funny when I first started, I when I would record in the Tesla, the Tesla has the iPad screen. And I had I used to have it pulled up. <laughs> I used to have the the bank website pulled up on certain just so I remember. Uh, and I had it. I remember I would look to the left. Okay, blah blah. blah. <laughs> yeah, but that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's that good. that you, uh, we all need notes and shit to keep track of crap, especially when it's a lot. Yeah. But you don't want to just be robotic, and I guess that's what it is. You look at some mm. people's stuff; it's robotic and boring as hell. Mm. I can't take it. Oh, Gabe said, I own all the equipment, please. <laughs> That's right. He's, he's got everything. Yo, but I am so down. Though. You tell me what cemetery and where and it's in there. <laughs> Ghost, of Ghost of Credit Card <laughs> Pass. Yo, I'll bring you back my gold card and see if you can bring it back from the dead. <laughs> see how that works. That's true. My green card, too. I buried Yo, it. We put them all together. <laughs> And see what comes out. Some <laughs> lime green, rose gold <laughs> color. Oh my god. Half metal, half plastic. Yes. That would be great. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh my uh, god. Oh, this is interesting. Uh Nicholas Lovatos. He said, as two New Yorkers, any advice on potentially living and raising a family in Manhattan? Yikes. Yeah, well don't. I, don't. I, Yeah. Don't. What? Bob, oh. Bob, don't. Don't Nicholas. No. I, and I'm a, I'm a diehard. Unless you could rock with a ton of money to live in a, in a really super safe place, the city is just, oh, it's not good right now. It's just not. And I grew up in a house, in a, so I, I didn't grow up in a building or an apartment. I grew up in a house, and it was great. But now going back to the old neighborhood, it's just different. Mm. And I don't know if you want to spend that much money to have to then put your kids through private school because the public school is going to suck. And that's talking to a guy working in a public school 34 years. Hmm. So you have to be careful of where it is, you know, location, school, this and that, because if not, my father paid for Catholic school my whole life because where we lived, the public school sucked. I think it's just like, 
it's it's like the old thing, right? I mean, there's a reason for like the last 50 years, anyone who worked in Manhattan lived in Jersey. <laughs> you know, it's like the sixth borough. <laughs> you go right out to Iceland, you know, whatever. That was me the last 20 some years. <laughs> yeah, is it? I mean, there's a reason for it. People are, you know, they know what to do. <laughs> like commute that, you know, 45. Or go to Yonkers or go to, you know, Westchester. If you want to stay in New York and not come to Jersey, if that's the move, then but you still got to still drive out. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah. You know, it's tough. Even yeah, Staten funny. Island. I like Staten Island too. I mean, that's where I'm from. But, you know, even driving, driving there is going to be hard in the mornings. Really but, but at least there, it was like being in Jersey. Think about it. You know, yeah. you're separate. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and that's a different culture altogether, which was great. Mm-hmm. But being in, 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 in Manhattan right now, it's just, Ugh, I, 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 I go visit my friends and stuff, and I want to get the hell out of there and come back. And I know that it's older, that I'm older, but just part of that is just there's no allure for me, you know, mm. especially if you have kids, little kids. I remember I moved to Jersey because I couldn't afford the Bronx. A house back in 2000 was $300,000. I didn't have it. Yeah. I bought this house here for $180,000. The last house in Bergen County to go for under 200. Oh, wow. Okay. And I also wanted a place where my kid could go outside and play like I grew up playing in the street, not having to worry about is there going to be a shootout? Is there going to be a fight in the park? You know, I have to make play dates. No, I didn't want to deal with any of that crap. I want my kid to be normal. Yeah. We were talking the other day, Anthony. Why did you end up going where you are? Oh, it was the, the crime was starting to come to Staten Island. Yeah. I remember being on driving lessons and it was literally a drive by right like a, a half a block for me just picking up somebody on a lesson like crazy stuff crazy stuff no not good not good nicholas you want to come to jersey i'll show you where <laughs> on, a, on a the older related note truth searchers i'll ride haunted mansion with you oh my god that's his favorite ride he said it on our street he's like he used to ride it millions of times when he was growing up and stuff he loves the haunted Mansion. it's such a cool ride though it, it is a cool ride it's just chill you need to do a ritual of resurrect. We got to do the call out. That'd be funny. <laughs> Yo, I can get you because I'm Puerto Rican. I can get the holy water, a chicken, and a cigar. And, <laughs> and let's see what that brings. A wishbone. Chicken. <laughs> 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 <I'm laughs> oh, God. What does Joe do at the school? Yeah, what do you, what do, you do? At the I was school? a school counselor. I was a high school oh, counselor right. for 34 years. Hmm. I retired in 2021. Hmm. So now here in Jersey, I do this. I run a nonpartisan political pack just to get people to go out to vote. I don't care who the hell you vote for, but I want you to go out there and vote and be involved in your community. Do that. I'm on different boards, school boards, stuff like that. Just keep it going. So he does love that ride. Want to mention? <laughs> well, are we coming up on three hours here? Yeah, you wanna. <laughs> No, I can't even see. Two forty-seven. <laughs> this is officially the longest, longest stream ever. Ever it has to be. Yeah, yeah. I think the closest is like two thirty, maybe two twenty, if I remember correctly. This is yeah, gangster. This, this is amazing. <laughs> really, it's gangster. Oh, Eat those oh, credit cards. What's up, Matt? I have to get back to you. My bad. <laughs> Oh, wait, Mr. Potato said, would love to see videos showing how to find good redemptions. Oh, damn. How'd you find that? Oh, and Voodoo People Bot says, Joey, your bank interview videos are the best things in a year. Much thanks. Thank you, Vinny. I appreciate you, man. And tomorrow, hopefully, is one that people will really like. I, you know, it's I like going. and But it's funny because I, I even think I said it in, in my video tomorrow. I have a journalism degree. I always wanted to be a news reporter and uh, and an anchor. And I, I love that going in and asking questions and taking notes and, you know, just making people like I told Anthony, Anthony's like the perfect freaking news reporter. He makes people feel comfortable and they're willing to tell him whatever. That's when you know you're good and it's a gift. You can't teach that. Hmm. And Anthony has that in spades. But thank hmm. you, Vinny. I appreciate that. Hopefully tomorrow. I will do it some justice, you know? 
Thanks, man. And then you're, you said, Mr. Potato, would love to see videos on how to find good redemptions, a lot of videos on how to accumulate points, not enough showing how to find crazy redemptions. I think why we don't see it as much is just because you know, a lot of people are working jobs and they're maybe not traveling as much. I'm hoping now that I'm much more free. I mean, I think I'll have three in the next three months, like three like big redemptions uh, videos in the next three months. So that'd be, that should be cool. Uh, <laughs> any longer, any longer than right now, two hours and 49 minutes, we would need vitamin D. Yo, dead ass. I need a Red Bull. Oh, that's funny. Damn, three hour, three, uh, near, damn near three hours with you, fellas. I love it. That's great. You Very know what? <laughs> let's, be, let's be those jerks and take it to three hours and one minute. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> see, Tito, see, Tito knows the deal. Wepa. Tito got Wepa right there. Tito. Oh, I got to have Tito on. Oh, that's right. I got Tito. Tito on here. Tito, it's an open invitation, man. If you ever want to come on. Or did I, did I message you once? I think I messaged Tito on. Tito, where are you from? Where are you from, Tito? <laughs> Joe, I'm going to watch you because you rock with City. But my least favorite bank of all. That might be, the premiere might be the one. Um, I, I, I want to check it out. Like I said, you'll see. I never had a credit card from City ever. And I've been really? with them over 40 years. So I don't I think I'll have see. one for a while either. Oh, Matt, I miss my political days. Matt, if I tell you who, this is a funny story. I started at 18 in New York, and I work for Mario Cuomo's campaign for governor. So Andrew's dad, when I was in college. Then from there, Giuliani's campaign, when Giuliani was normal and was the one of the best mayors ever, I worked Giuliani's. I worked um, Charles Rangel, Jose Serrano from Congress, and then, you know, just continued to get involved there. And when I came to Jersey, I did it now with the governor here in Jersey, Phil Murphy. I was on his state education transition team. Uh, right now, I sent um, Anthony last week um, using StreamYard. I've had the candidates that are running for Bob Menendez's seat for Senate, and I've been giving them a platform to come and talk because other people here don't want them to talk. Jersey politics are weird. Um, so they have what they call the line. And if you're blessed by the heads of the counties, they give you the first line to vote. Even if you're the same party, then you get kicked over, which is messed up because mm. people bullet vote. So I give those people the opportunity to talk and have their voices heard. So I actually have coming up in about a week or so, Congressman Andy Kim, who was the guy, if you guys remember at the at the January 6th riot, that he was the guy picking up the mess, the only kind that was picking up the stuff that people were throwing and, and, and breaking and whatever, he was cleaning up and people were following him because he was like, what are you doing? He goes, I gotta clean this place up. So he's running for the same seat, so I'm gonna have him on. So those are the things that I just do to stay involved and, and make sure people have a voice because you know what you have an opportunity to say something if something doesn't go right that's on you then if you don't say nothing don't don't complain about it hmm. Interesting. i got all political and shit there you go tito where are you from tito i forgot i asked you where you are from mexico mexico viva mexico yo where i was in el barrio that whole strip tito was Puebla Flowers, Puebla Restaurant on 116th Street, used to be Puerto Rican, is from 1st Avenue to 3rd Avenue, Mexican, 100%. Hmm. A lot of my kids, their families live there. That is, they are the nicest, the best food. Everything was just, God bless, puppy. God bless. Hmm. And Chad, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for saying I rock. Yo, Tito should join the Discord. It's just the easiest way. Like all the people that I mess with, like I usually if they don't join there, I just I don't know why I just forget, or I'll just I didn't. It's it's, it's so easy to message people on there. It's, uh, oh, we took it over. <laughs> we took over. <laughs> God bless you, puppy. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm telling you, man, that is. 
and that's why I love the diversity in New York. I love the diversity here in Jersey and other places that you could, I always feel at home. It doesn't matter, you know? Um, and the people are always so good to me. It's funny because you tell people you work in Harlem or East Harlem, they're like, how the hell did you survive, right? And I worked there without incident 34 years, bro. They've never touched my car. They've never, you know, it's just been amazing there. The, you give people love and respect, you get it right back. Hmm. So, we, uh, yeah. Chad, where do you live in Florida? Disney. <laughs> He lives in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, <laughs> Magic Kingdom. Where are you, Jack? Because my house is in Palm Coast on the East Coast. Chad, can you get me a night in the Magic Kingdom with your your time short for like twenty five k? Like I'll spit like the twenty five k sub goal will be in the freaking Magic Castle next to the <laughs> next to the mouse. the red as we call him <laughs> the mouse. Orlando next to the mouse. Whatever you do, don't look at my. Uh, about six months ago, I made a short <laughs> on how bad the vis the Disney Visa card was. <laughs> oh, that was his whole. That was the whole reason he invited me and, and Chad uh, Money Minutes on his uh, stream. He was like, "Friends don't let friends spend on their Disney Visa." Like that was that, that was, was it. That's the worst card ever. <laughs> and it was like M I C E C. The card really sucks. K E Y Y. You get <laughs> one point for blah blah blah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> oh, I guess if we go to three minutes, uh, three hours, we got like five minutes left. If anyone has any last minute crazy things, uh, <laughs> we'll bring up in the last five minutes. Unless Anthony, Anthony, do it. Anthony needs a shot of coffee there. Anthony, I see no. you dragon, Anthony. Are you crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what it is? See, it's the stupid lighting in the house. This is why I want to be outside because the lighting is so much better outside. Yo, you got that cool like wolverine ass kind of thing coming on there that hugh jackman jive look at that. no it's actually been an issue my whole life actually the the i shave but it doesn't get low enough to actually get rid of the, the black stubble i always hate it but it's all right but you went to public <laughs> like school it. in school when you were in new york in yeah Staten island you went to public school right yeah all public so i went to catholic school and we had to shave and mm -hmm. they would never do this now they had a single blade razor in the bathroom so you had a choice if you didn't shave and you had long sideburns or mustache and beard you had detention for a week or you can go to the bathroom and shave you know those old gem blades that you put in the razor and you turn the thing and it locked they had one razor for everyone to share oh, really that at, so that you didn't have detention in Cardinal spum in high school wow so where Sonia Sotomayor went, the the you know the Supreme Court justice, we went to the same high school. So That's from boys, crazy. you had it. I was so I've been shaving since fourteen, and oh, it's brutal, bro. I used to butcher my neck. I had toilet paper <laughs> stuck to my face. I looked like a mummy. Plus, everybody's gonna be sharing like HIV. Everyone's bleeding. Yeah, well, now that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Imagine that was early '80s before it became a thing. I think after '85, right. I think they cut that out. But. That's right. Oh, look Phil, Mo, Phil, 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 man. This was great, guys. I laughed. I learned. I love it. We got to put that on the mantle. That's great. Oh, I Dude, that's that. a cool <laughs> saying. Yo, I like that. Well, it's like the live, laugh, learn. Yeah, but dead ass. I like your spin on that. You know? Yeah, man. I, like I laughed that. and learned. I love it. Thank you so much, Phil. I pre You've been here for three hours, man. That's crazy. I appreciate you. That's uh, that's awesome. Actually, you know what's funny? Joe, it just reminded me. My longest stream ever was actually eight hours with Calby on his channel. We did a live stream in person, eight hours long. We were gonna go for twenty four, and they were like, "This is kind of dumb." How did you guys pee? Like, how did that work? Oh well, we would take turns, right? Like, he would hit, he would man the, the thing, and then I would go to the bathroom. I showered with him. <laughs> we, we had one bed, we, we got, <laughs> and we had robes together. That we put on. It was great. You held the camera. You're like, "Go ahead, dry it for me. Go ahead, go ahead." <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah. Can you? Can you wiggle for me? Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Calvi. Uh, he would too. He's that good of a guy. Yeah, he would be. <laughs> it's not that thin, Joe. Come on now. Right <laughs> <at the list. laughs> I thought of that. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Thank you, Phil. And Don Kim, he knew. Yes, the high stream with the room service for dumbbells. Yeah, we asked the room service. We were like, "Can we get robes? And can we get shampoo and razors and dumbbells and yoga mats?" 
they only gave us uh, everything except for the dumbbells the other way. That is hilarious. Oh, a question we all thought we were eight hours. Yeah, I mean, we're not locked to the thing. We'd be like, all right, Kelvin, you got, I'll be back. You know, it was good. And we were like on a top floor in a nice regency in, in Lexington. It was fun. How many Red Bulls? Like, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, I'll go 24 hours. If you let me, I'll go 24 hours. It's, it's, if, as long as it's chats, I'll go 24 hours. I have no issue. That's true. You know, this makes it, people don't realize it. But when you get the comments and stuff on the side, yeah. you can go forever. Oh, yeah. I, I have to pick a different night because Tuesdays has been murder for me. I get like like 20 gatitos, as we say, little cats. <laughs> <laughs> you should do Sunday. Nobody's on Sunday except for... Actually, I don't even know if Cal's doing that anymore. You know, I, I, I just don't like to like step on uh, anybody else's crap. You know what I mean? Nah. But I'm just saying it, it is what it is. But when you get this interaction you can go on forever bro because i oh, don't yeah. know how many messages this has been but it's been a ton probably yeah hundreds and hundreds it's I so mean, much better which we obviously appreciate you guys we love that we have some sort of a community and i'm always in people's stream well i've been lacking lately but um i try to hit streams if i can yeah but people realize everybody else has you know Weekends, you got family, you got kids. It's just, it is what it is. People yeah, work, whatever. You catch the live stream. And I, I always say, look, I'm sorry I couldn't catch a live. I'm here now. That, that's it. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that the love is the love. It is what it is. Yeah. You know? Wait, wait. Hmm. Cal gave up some days. And look at Matt's next one. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Three hours, baby. And don't forget. To like and subscribe. Yes. <laughs> that is fantastic. I'm going to throw... Gangsta. Let me throw your thing back in. You guys, this has been like just next level for me. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, for letting me be a part of this. You know. Absolutely. I, I, I feel like I've known you my whole life. And I, I love you for that. So... Thank There's you. your channel, Joe's channel. Go subscribe to Mister Joe Barreto. If they're hot too, tell them to hit it up. Right? Oh my god! <laughs> but seriously, yeah, this was absolutely amazing. Thank you for you know doing this with me today, Joe, and you know everybody who's here. So what did we have? We had John super chat, vinyl super chat, Filmo. We had Keith coming in a million times. Um, did that? It was a bunch. There was others. I think, I think that was right. Vinyl, John. Vinyl, wait, vinyl covers. Wait. And Amazing Dollar Man. That's yes. right. Yeah, John Vinyl, Amazing Dollar and Man. You know what's great that you do too? Oh. That you thank people, which is huge. When people do, th you know, not that I love the fact you always just are so grateful and gracious and everything. And, and that's different. That people, not everybody does that, puppy. And I, I love that that when you do that especially on the discord you hit them back up again and you think like that's just different and that that makes a big difference in this space so woodsy was the other one and woodsy yes yes that's yeah, right he dropped in for a second in. If anything right. in color pops up i'm just stopping john woodsy keith with all his amex hate <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's always appreciated like obviously everyone says they appreciate it but I literally will make sure I go to, to, to the links to let people know, like, yes. Vinyl cover. Absolutely appreciate it. Vinyl cover. You know. on, yep. So we're good. Let's Call go, me Oakland. Gente. Oakland, so Anthony's a people chat. Let's go. That's <laughs> it. Absolutely. Mi gente. No. Well, Hasta la próxima. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You know what? I'll do this, too, because I usually like to do these at the end. Oakland, Dr. Vinny Bubots, John, Chad Penny Cuff, Anthony Venture. Oh, he's in there. Matt Clausen, <laughs> Tito Duncan, Michael Wong, Dollar Man, Nifty Ninja. Everybody who was here, Matt Clausen, obviously, from the bunker. Um, <laughs> Sean R., uh, Filmo, everybody who was here today. Appreciate you guys. It's always a blast. Early on. Oh, I'll let you guys know. Next week, we got Sledge, baby. Pretty really? Sure. Pretty sure we got Sledge again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for that. <laughs> Remember, but, his opinion is the only one that matters. <laughs> it's the only, it's the only one. <laughs> and, uh, and Gabe also, he was here. But yes, <clears throat> without taking up too much more of your Saturday night. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Love you guys. Here. Appreciate everybody. God bless you guys. Thank you. <laughs> See you all. Take care, guys. <laughs> Be safe.